Hello. 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 How are you? Are you doing well today? I'm doing okay-ish. There's an ad break in progress. I realize, wait, uh-oh. Whoops. Uh, well, um, let's, let's wait another 44 seconds and talk of nothing of value. Cause that was my bad. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Also, hello all of you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Remember that the, um, the Golden Kappa is a fleeting moment of bliss. Don't, don't feel like you have to get him. You, it's very nice of you though. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> this is unrelated. I'm not that sick. Uh, appreciate the support. I appreciate the support, it's very kind of you, but uh, also don't, don't die. Don't die. It's okay. It's okay. How are you guys? I hope that you enjoy your Golden Kappa, but remember the feelings associated with it are fleeting. They're fleeting. Thank you for the hydrate. They're fleeting. I'm drinking cranberry juice. Ah. <coughs> this is unrelated. I don't know why I have a bunch of gunk in my throat. This was not related to why I was feeling sick. Oh my goodness. How are you guys? Oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ, sorry. Thank you, Super Ultra Mega Death A God. Don't... What? Jesus. All of you guys, thank you very much, but also hello, Clunk. It's a fleet... It's a... Well, thank you, Super Ultra Mega Death A God. Thank you all of you guys. <coughs> I, um, I don't have anything wrong with my throat, despite the fact that I'm choking at something, it sounds like. Um, if you're wondering where I was, I think I, like, I'm 99% sure that I've developed an ulcer, and that's why I've been a little bit, a little bit quiet. I have not been feeling the hottest. I've been feeling very, very bad. I don't know if you've had one of those before, but you don't feel good. You feel, you feel like a demon. Your entire body is just like, don't try. Don't try, don't lay down. But don't try. Don't try. Sit up. Stop trying. Yeah, I've been like walking around for like two minutes a day, it feels like at most. It's not, it's not been the best. It was really rough for a while. I'm very sorry about that, Renmaro. And hello, Hazmat. I've calmed down a lot though, and I think it's getting a lot better. But for a few days, I was just like, oh, goodbye. I don't know what I'm doing. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Normal effects of stress. I got too stressed out over stuff. It's true. I'm feeling a lot better though. Thank you guys for coming by though today. And also. <coughs> Thank you, Twitch, for deciding it was a Golden Kappa Day. That's very nice of you. But also, remember. Where did you get it? An ulcer? What do you mean? Like, they're not contagious. Are they contagious? Oh my god, really? Holy crap. I didn't know that. I think I got it from myself, like, from stress, but I didn't know they were contagious. Um, ulcer store? I got it from the ulcer store. It's one of the latest brands. It's so nice. When I think ulcers, I think the ulcer store. And I went there yesterday and I found an amazing, an amazing little stomach ulcer. It's very petite. It doesn't hurt that much until it suddenly decides it hurts. I also constantly feel like there's acid coming into my throat. It's a very lovely, lovely little thing. It's... <coughs> Pardon me. Would rabies cancel out the ulcer? I've never had rabies. That's, uh, that's stolen valor. Ulcers are us. Is this a commercial? It is now. Mr. Normal, you need to get yourself a small ulcer today. No, I don't- I wouldn't recommend it. I felt horrible. You should see a doctor about that? I had a doctor's appointment. And I'm probably gonna reschedule it just because when I move, I'm like, I don't want to do this. But I do feel like I'm getting better, so like... I don't really want to have to go to the doctor. <laughs> like, I feel miserable. Like, but I'm, I'm getting a lot better. Like, I feel better sitting up and like doing something again and being distracted. Have you tried telehealth? I probably could switch it to that. That might be a good idea, and I could just go, I have an ulcer, what will you do? But I've been taking on acids and stuff. I don't know, it sucks. Please cough responsibly. Yes, absolutely. I think, um, I think I got the gunk out of my throat. That's exactly when you should visit a doctor, but it's hard to be outside. When you're, you're already sick and tired, you don't want that. Oh, I cured my GERD by resting my gut bacteria within ooh, with weeks of fasting. I will probably die if I try that, but that sounds cool. There is a helicobacter that causes ulcers, so believe it or not, the, a major antibody cocktail might be a thing. Oh, that's interesting. Add the big potato redeem back for 300,017.4. Is that how many channel points you have, Hazmat? Also, thank you guys for your support. I'll, I'll um... 
I'll think, I'll, I'll, what's it called? I'm a little out of it. I will, I will thank everyone for your generosity in, in just a moment. I want to make sure I do. I just, um, oh, I'm a, I'm silly today. I'm relaxing, but I'm silly. How are you guys? I missed you a lot. I don't know what I do, like, when I don't stream, I just kind of sit there and go, Hi, Pumpkin. And she goes, E. Pumpkin, you want to say E? She's not feeling the E right now. Outside only brings bad things. Outside makes you feel sick. Like, I don't want to... I think I just associate going outside with feeling sick at this point. Uh, uh, Arc Reaper, you've been here for 23 months. Thank you, almost two years. Yo! Oh, you don't like FNAF. Is it the Emperor or the, the guys killing you? Either way, it, they're both a little bit rough to deal with, huh? I'm, I'm glad that FNAF has gotten such a... Uh, it's gotten such a lovely reputation as such an interesting and creative universe where so many crazy things can happen for anyone at any time. And I guess the moral of the story is be polite and also don't go to, like, any sort of Chuck E. Cheese-like establishment. Apparently Chuck E. Cheese is very upset when you, like, associate FNAF with them, too. Like, they... They apparently are super pissed off about it, which is fair. They're just like, no, we don't want any sort of this- No, we don't want this associated with- No, we don't want this with our reputation. But then they also put out, like, these advertisements when the movie was coming out going like, Oh my god, look, our characters are like the FNAF ones. They're all lined up like the FNAF ones. And everyone got super angry. Which is... I guess everyone just constantly gets super angry. <laughs> they don't want the negative rep, they don't want the negative rep, but they want the- They want the FNAF dollars. Low-key missed opportunity, they tried to do it, though. I thought Chuck E. Cheese went out of business? No, 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 no. Also, thank you. Oh, goodness. I... Thank you so much, Anivuru. I appreciate it. I, um, I will thank all of you profusely. Thank you. In, in just a moment. I, um... Chuck E. Cheese, I think, is still technically in business, but they probably have, like, three stores left, and they're like, we're holding on. We can do this. Mm. We can do this. Everyone, get together. Everyone, come on. Please. Everyone, come on. Just... Line the kids up, we can get at least 12 in here that aren't afraid of any sort of contagious disease. Not everyone has the internet, they won't know if there's some sort of, like, flu outbreak, come on. Like, they probably look at it like that. Just want to say hi, have a busy day tomorrow, enjoy the strip, thank you! I hope that you have a lovely, lovely time tomorrow. I hope that you do. They cut back? I think they had to, um... <clears throat> with the nature of our, our society right now. People don't really have a lot of extra spending money and everything's very expensive to, like, keep going, probably, so they're probably just like, we'll have three stores open and hope we can survive this, then we'll open them back up, so. Huh. It survives in California? I wonder why, huh? Do they have, like, better tax credits there or something? I don't know. Dave and Buster's needs animatronics? That would be really cool. Yo. Sorry, thank you for the bit. You have quite the name. You have quite the name. Okay, thank you. That's nice of you. Sorry, um... Goodness. Also, thank you guys for your support. It's very kind of you. Um... I, uh... I'm hoping that you guys are doing good, though. Like, I wanted to look at some nice fan art you guys have been doing of my new outfit, because I've been... Like, even before, like, the ulcer, I think I was getting stressed to the point I was about to develop one, so... You appreciate names? Um... Usually. Like, I try to read your guys' names. Like, why wouldn't I? I hope so. Google these made it very hard to see theirs, though, because it's- it's dark on- on dark. <laughs> so it's- you have to, like, hover over it. Thank you, though. Um, but we have a Chuck E. Cheese in my city still. Oh, we used to have a place called Discovery Zone, which was a million times better than Chuckie's. Oh. What's my name? Something? You- you made me say that. You- you psychologically manipulated me. I know what you did. Um... Development costs for ulcers these days are high. Kind of, though, because you feel like garbage, bro. <laughs> but I'm feeling better. I I don't know. It, it was like a couple of days of like, this is really bad, and then it's starting to get a little bit healthier. Um, did, did you change your diet for the site? A, a little tiny bit, but like, I didn't have much time to. I think I was just really stressed out because I was... I honestly just need to, like, find better coping mechanisms. Maybe we can look up some coping mechanisms today, because I, I realize I just get stressed and go, ah! Francis Enjoyer, thank you for gifting a sub to Ulcer. Demon. Um, I realized I'd just go, ah, and like freak out and never really find that way to call, like, calm down. Um, thank you, Numbers, for saying cope. Um, 
not that kind of cope. I guess that is, like, coping, but, like, you know, coping with stress, not coping with, like, being wrong about video game opinions. Not, not that. I just exist good for you. I think, um... I think not thinking about everything constantly, and then not thinking about every bad thing that could possibly happen in your entire life, every second you're going through it, would probably have some positive effect. Like, and then also, like, creating situations that, like, can't possibly even exist, where, like, you're going to go crazy and die. Like, that's, that's awesome. <laughs> Maybe I need to stop doing that. Uh, also, yeah, you only keep the Golden Kappa for 24 hours. That's why it's a fleeting moment of bliss. That's why I'd say, remember that you are, you are powerful. And outside of the Golden Kappa, there's a million beautiful things in the world. Like, you don't need to worry about it. You don't need to be like, oh man, I'm getting this boy. Like, you can also just be like, you know what? He's out there. He's doing his thing. I don't need this. Yeah, you, you go have a good one, Golden Kappa. Beautiful. But not my, not my, not my thing. Sorry, Golden Cap. But yeah. I just, uh, shove everything, oh, shove everything deep down. I thought you were saying you were, like, shaving, like, your legs and stuff. Um, this is healthy and nothing bad will ever happen to you. You're gonna get an ulcer. You're gonna get an ulcer. Screaming is healthy. Screaming is a release of stress to gain energy. Oh, yeah, I was actually screaming a little bit. Like, um, oh, thank you for gifting a slip to Skelter. Yo, Skelter, isn't that nice? Maybe you have to get milk. I am... Um, I'm gonna go back and thank all of you, though. Um, why scream when you can sing? That's very fair, too. You could scream and sing, though, if you do the right songs. If you do... Wait, what? If you do LSD, you sign yourself up to further unwarranted trips? Oh, if you have, like, the bad kind of reaction to it, yeah. You can get stuck there forever, apparently. Oh, no. Blood vomit is cool, though? No, it's not. No, it's not. No, you don't like that. No. 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 No, no. What you probably need to do is just start, um... Let's see, what could we do to, like, get rid of, like, all of the negative feelings in our body related to everything all at once? <laughs> um... Breathe. Uh... Cat picks? Cats are really helpful, honestly. Cats are very helpful. I mean, I think those are, like, some of the best, like, things in the world. Like, I'll sometimes just look at cat pictures and go, like, they look very happy. Hear our music, that's nice, too. Think about Pumpkin. Pumpkin, Pumpkin was here with me when she left when I started streaming. I think she was like, she's not gonna pay attention to me for a while, and left. But a very loud epic music? Oh, like, like the ones where you feel like you can save the world and, like, do anything? Like, I like that, like, moment in, um... I guess it was called Save the World in Undertale. It was very sweet. Speaking of which, I got pumpkins. Oh, congratulations! It is Halloween coming up. What's a hype chest? So you get a little kappa and he stares at you. Who is the kappa? Is it the guy from X-Files? It's the guy from X-Files, right? Thank you guys very much for your support! It looks like the guy from X-Files. Mulder. It is Mulder! Like, there's the- there's the normal version of him, it's Mulder. Okay, I- no, it's not Mulder? It looks like Mulder. Sorry, um, pumpkin carving, like, uh, hand cam? I- that would be very fun. I really would like to. I, um, I can't imagine doing anything at this moment. I was so excited for October, like, I'm gonna have an amazing time this year. It's gonna be so good. We're gonna have so much fun. Oh my god, we're gonna do amazing. And then, like, I totally just exploded, like, immediately. Like, I had to cancel, like, all of my collabs. Like, it sucked. Like, uh, I was supposed to hang out with Ecto. I was supposed to hang out with, um, Papa Mutt and, like, Vex and, like, a lot of other, like, nice people. Like, it, um, but it's okay. I'm, I'm very excited. I'm very excited for the future. I want to try to get back and, like, stuff like that, so yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah! Maybe I can plan something nice for, like, the rest of the month. I can do, like, a marathon and, like, try to, like, get my song covers recorded on the stream and stuff like that. There's some fun stuff we can do. We can try to, like, script out an ASMR together and then record that, too. That would be fun. You streamed every single day of October last year and it ruined you? It, it was more that it was the stress of, like, what was going on behind, like, that stuff, because I was also stressed out for other reasons. 
I think if it were... Like, honestly, I think if it were... Ah. Uh, uh, I think if it were just the streams, I would have been fine. I've realized that I've lived a very high-stress life for the past few years. It was, uh, it was a very fun, like, month, though. Like, and Fuzzy, you were so kind to have sent that game that Gaspar got trapped in and, like, I could see more of his mental illness from it. Like, that was a very fun time. Like, it was, it was lovely. Time for painkillers and sleep. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Sleep well. That sounds like a nice night. Um, you consider yourself a horror VTuber, right? Oh yeah, I mostly play horror games. I was gonna play one tonight, actually. If we have enough time for it and if you guys are up for it, I was either gonna play Violent Horror Stories Anthology, or Lunacid. Lunacid. Lunacid also looks really good. It's, um, I don't know how to describe it other than it's a little bit weird. <laughs> it's a weird game, but it's very cool, so, um, whichever one we don't play, we'll play that one next time. So, don't worry about it too much. It's all about four hours, hours of Zatsu before game high pay. It's not gonna be four hours of Zatsu. We, we got this. Oh, Lunacid. Lunacid. Everyone's really into Lunacid. Ooh. The other one's very good, too, though. The other one's very, very, very good. It's not really a horror game? Oh, maybe it just feels a little bit Baroque. Baroque. Did you ever finish playing Abaddon or not survive? Um, I finished playing Abaddon a few times. I'd like to, um... Oh, that's nice of you, uh, Night Skyla. That's... I feel you. I used to be the same way where I couldn't handle playing horror games. I... I think the first horror game I tried to play was Silent Hill 3. And I was so excited for it, but like I stood in like the like weird carnival area for like literally like a half an hour, and then <laughs> and then I walked into the next area and I like had a panic attack sitting there for five minutes, having to calm my breathing down, yeah, going, okay, 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 and then like after five minutes, I was ready to move, and then like a, a zebra dog just launched onto Heather and like was ready to kill her, and I turned the game off, and I ran into the other room. Abaddon's great, though. Um, I'm glad you did the yaoi route on my behalf, Extra Fuzzy, but you can just admit that you wanted to see the guys, like, get jiggy with it. No one's gonna judge you for that. Um, you can't deal with jump scares? They, they are a bit intense. Like, I'd say, like, the first time you get jump scared in a game, it's the worst, like, that anticipation leading up to it, and then afterwards you're like, that doesn't matter. It's fine. Um, it has some extremely scary parts. Ooh, that sounds lovely, then. That sounds perfect. What made you decide to be a horror streamer? I like horror video games. Um, I think, honestly, it's because, like, if I'm being real with you, I don't- I feel scared still, and it's not a very pleasant feeling. <laughs> like, I've calmed down a lot since I've been playing horror games all the time, but, like, the thing is, I think that horror games are really focused on making you feel like you're in the video game and like very immersive in like a way other games aren't because they need to otherwise you won't be scared. So like they get very immersive and you feel like you're almost there and it's like kind of a nice feeling. I don't know how to put it besides that. Also I need to I need to thank all you guys and I need to um what I'm going to do is I'm going to very quickly use the restroom. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to thank every single last one of you for all of your support. That was very nice of you. Let me scroll all the way down to when it first started going. Very kind of you guys. Okay, started with Sky. So let's, um... Oh, that was an hour ago. What do you mean it was an hour ago? Oh, wait, you were here an hour ago. Okay, thank God. I was gonna say it has not been an hour. This has been like 20 minutes at most. Oh my goodness gracious. Um... People with a difficult past tend to gravitate towards horror games, too, since it's a safe environment. It is a safe environment. It's interesting. Um, it's kind of neat. I feel like nothing from scary games, and sometimes I think it's a slog. Which is why I watch dreamers to absorb their experience. That's very fair, too. <clears throat> One thing I've noticed with mouthwashing is that I see different people I know go like, I'm about to play mouthwashing, and most of the time I'm like, yay, that's exciting, it's gonna be cool to see what these horror streamers, like, think of mouthwashing, yay! And then sometimes I'll see someone that does not play horror games regularly go, I'm gonna play mouthwashing, and I'm like, oh, I would prefer if you didn't do that. I don't want you to go through this right now, I don't think it's gonna help you feel better, it's not gonna be good, don't do this, no. <laughs> So I, I saw someone today, like, going like, I'm gonna play mouthwashing, it's gonna be so exciting, and I was like, oh, <laughs> okay. 
Sigrid solved the valve puzzle in like three minutes. It was scary. That's cool though. Like I, that was the most humane way to do it. Just do it very quickly and don't worry. Like if you have too much like, uh, it's going to take like 10 minutes and be even worse. Um, I would just tell them good luck. I guess so. But there's some people I do not want to play that game because I think it's going to fundamentally change them for the worse. Like, I love that game. I also found something out about that game that um, I don't think anyone's noticed yet. Um, because I'm an obsessive crazy person. Uh, here, let me, let me get my pictures of it. <laughs> um, if you guys want to, this is, this is some mouthwashing spoilers, but I, more people have played it at this point, so like, I don't feel like, oh my god, I'm spoiling mouthwashing, this is the worst thing anyone could do, like, it's, people have played it at this point. Um, is that Jimmy might not be a good guy? Okay, you guys, you guys know Jimmy at this point. Um, also, yeah, the devs posting uh, videos of Swansea busting it wide and going wild. Uh, it's okay, Swansea's earned it. Swansea can do whatever and I'll support him. Um, this is from a YouTube person's video. Like, I'm not taking credit for taking these screenshots. I just went to... Um, so here, I want to show you guys this, though. This is something I've noticed. If you want to post this on Twitter or YouTube or whatever, I I don't care. Like, <laughs> I'm not going to be upset if you take, like, this and, like, go, like, did you know this mouth-washing secret? Um, but I don't think I've seen anyone else talk about it. So it, it's fine. Like, I'm not going to be sad. Like, it'd be cool if people spread it. Um, so this is Curly's ID, and it's covered in blood, and it's completely obliterated. You can't see any of his skin. Hi, Bodega! Yo! Uh, you can't see any of his skin. Like, it's just destroyed. And then... And then we have... We have this one. We have... Daisuke's. We have Daisuke's. And Daisuke... Daisuke? I think it's Daisuke. Sorry, I don't, I don't pronounce Japanese words very well or Japanese names. Um... We have Daisuke, and his has a giant gash at the top. With like a big- and this doesn't even make sense for the card. Uh, they have a giant gash at the top. With like an indent, like there's a hole. Which is interesting. Yeah, this is all of the damage to their bodies, I believe. And then Swansea... Swansea has a hole in his. And Swansea was shot. And then even again, like, continuing onward, then we get to Jimmy's. And his has a hole in it. And his also has, like, a giant hole, like, because, you know, it's right next to his head, like, where he, um... It is foreshadowing, yeah. And then, um, what happens in the middle? Like, it could either be that he was starving, or maybe he was so, like, overwhelmed with guilt he was, like, slurting to go, like, insane, or maybe it's because he was cannibalizing Curly. <laughs> There's a lot of things he did that could, like, be why that's happening. His heart was gone? That's also very possible. But Anya's is completely pristine because her body had no damage. So I thought that was very interesting. Like, all of them have, like, the damage that was done to their body throughout the game, like, on their, like, ID cards. So, I don't- I'm not sure if, like, based on, like, the ending, I'm not sure if Curly died. Like, he essentially is, like, just not gonna ever be okay again, but, like, her mental damage was pretty big. Her mental damage was pretty big, but her body was completely unscathed, so... She was totally fine in terms of her physical damage, but, like, everyone else's card had the physical damage their body would undergo throughout the game, so... Yeah, it is really nice foreshadowing. I thought that was cool. That being said, I haven't seen anyone talk about it. So if you'd like to, if you'd like to, if you'd like to make a did you know in mouthwashing, like, you can make that video. You don't have to give me credit. Like, I, I just think it's interesting and I wish more people knew about it, but I feel like if I post it on my Twitter, like, enough people that have, like, already, like, not played the game would see it and I'd feel bad about that. So <laughs> that's the only thing preventing me. Um, no one talks about the blind horse having two faces. Oh, interesting. See, there's a lot of stuff like that then. That's very cool. They really did put in a lot of, like, subtle things that, like, we don't completely comprehend, like, until we, like, really think about it. Just girly things, just girly things, like, thinking about how they all died in very intense, horrifying ways. Curly might have... No, I was gonna say he might be okay. <laughs> he wasn't. He, he was not okay. 
I will, and I will credit you. That's very nice of you, Outcast Ghost. Go have fun with it. Spoilers only want to make me play it even more. It's a very good game. Um, that happened with me with, um... I saw this, like, cover for a game on Twitter, and, like, they were just, like, yeah, like, when the starting screen, like, you see, like, whenever, like, something occurs in the plot and a character dies, like, they disappear from, like, the main loading screen, and it was, like, people are dying in this game? <laughs> like, I never would have assumed that. This, this game is based on a child's franchise. Like, what do you mean? Like, that made me want to play it really bad. Pro poor Curly is better off dead. He is. Like, even if, like, even if, like, Curly... Yeah, the thing is, like, even if Curly gets found in space, even if, like, they find him, like, they, they do have a pretty high chance of finding him, I think, is the thing, because Daisuke's parents were rich, and they're gonna be like, where is our son? What do you mean you lost him? Go find him now. Like, they might even find him somewhat quickly, because they aren't sending, like, reports that are probably, like, going and, like, getting pinged to their, like, ship, so it's possible they'd even find them in, like, a year or so. But, like, the thing is... I don't think, like, even if they had, like, all of the, like, technologies available to, like, regrow, like, Curly's, like, organs and skin and, like, lips and, like, eyes and, like, everything like that, I don't think he would ever really be a human again. <laughs> like, he could look exactly like how he did before, 100%. They could fix him, but he wouldn't really be a person, like, on the same level as everyone else. He went through, like, probably the worst thing imaginable, um, in terms of human experiences, so... Yeah, you can't regrow that man's mental state. He'd probably be on a 10 out of 10 in terms of anxiety and fear every second for the rest of his life. And he wouldn't be able to look at like 90% of like, he wouldn't be able to look at like cake, knives, mouthwash, obviously. <laughs> he would constantly think about the friends that were like murdered in front of him. Uh, he probably wouldn't be able to eat meat ever again. Like he, he, I don't, he would just probably have a really hard time with anything. And then he would probably also, like, if not that, he'd be a vegetable. He'd probably even be catatonic for, like, catatonic for, like, some of his life. Like, it's just really... Yep. Starships, horses, yeah. Anytime you would have to, like, go into space, he'd probably have a mental breakdown. And he was a captain, too, so it would be pretty bad. Like, and people might be like, oh, you should write a book about your experiences. I don't think that they could do that. <laughs> or, like, you should just go do interviews for money. No, I don't think they could do that. Um... He'd make a good VTuber. There you go. He could just sit at home and be like, Aah! for six hours a day. His life would probably be extremely difficult at best. Yeah. And I don't know if he'd have any like close friends that he'd ever rely on because like he'd probably be afraid of them being murdered at random. I'd watch him. <laughs> Heck yeah. There you go. Also, I'm, I'm gonna go use the restroom really quick, but that's- I just wanted to show you guys the ID cards, because I thought they were interesting, but I'll be right back, I'll be right back, I'll be right back. And then we're gonna- we're gonna look at some nice fan art, so I'll be right back, I'll be right back, I'll be right back. Man gets number one V2 reward, good for him, he's been through a lot. Good for him.
They came out with the Pathologic 2. They're coming out with the Patholo Pathologic 3 soon. You, you, you gotta get with the times. 3 is headed out soon, too. It's crazy. Jam session is over. I'm sorry. I'm happy you had a good time with it, though. Also, um, thank you so much, Genji, for being here for 30 months. Yo, how are you? And thank you so much, Gaming Bleach, for, for gifting two subs. You've gifted a lot of subs. Please make sure that you're okay. Please. Pathologic and fear at hunger happen at larger scales of society collapsing. That's true. I feel like with mouthwashing, it probably feels more personal, but, like, people were probably having, like, absolutely horrible times <laughs> overall, like, in droves and droves. Hmm. Oh. Mouthwashing just feels very personal because the cast is very small. Um... The axe wound that Daisuke had wouldn't have necessarily been fatal? Probably not. Like, I mean, unless Stonzi, like, not Stonzi, unless Swansi, like, Stonzi, and like, unless Swansi, like, really smashed, like, the front, like, area of, like, his brain, like, really hard, it, it is possible that it would have just, like, gone into his sinus. It's a, it's a really, it's a really intense game. They should have had a union. I think they were past the point of unions at that point. Also, sorry, I'm gonna have a little bit of granola bar, because... I don't know, granola is one of the few things that I've realized won't make me feel sick. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Also, yeah, Daisuke was already bleeding out. And then also all of his wounds were filled with, like, sugar. So, uh... Yeah. It was overall a very bad time. It was overall an extremely bad time for everyone. I'm going to say this, though. Bob the Janitor, thank you for being here for ten months. That is very much appreciated, and I hope you're having a lovely one. Brain Cyst Enjoyer, thank you so much for being here for nine months. Welcome back, Grimbo. Hope you're feeling better. I'm feeling relatively better. I'm having my ups and downs, but I'm doing okay. A... Our Green Boo, thank you so much for being here for three months. I appreciate that. Lovely, lovely. Very kind of you. Sorry, I want to do the uh, NPR voice right now. Uh, decompressing the ship would have been a mercy? Oh. Interesting. I guess at that point it would have been... If they had all died then, they probably would have felt a lot better, but also they could have... They just shouldn't have brought Jimmy, honestly. If Jimmy weren't there having his mental breakdown there, they would have all lived, which is very sad. Gavgoss, thank you for the 200 bits. Incredibly kind of you. And Gnarly Barkles, thank you for being here for 13 months. You got your sauces. I'm very happy to hear that. I hope that you enjoy them. Kevkos, thank you again for the 200 bits. Incredibly kind. 400 overall. Thank you. Very kind of you. And Ishikumo, thank you so much for being here for seven months. It was your birthday yesterday. That means I give you money, right? No, that does not. I hope you had a lovely birthday, though. That's wonderful. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Ren Maru, thank you for being here for two years. Happy you're feeling better? That's very kind of you. I am. I am. Slowly but surely. Whenever you go through something intense, you just have to get to the other side of it. You'll feel a lot better. Tremitol, thank you so much for being here for 22 months. I hope that you're having a lovely day. Pricks, zero, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Also, that's very kind of you to donate towards the Hype Train Fund. Big Bad Wolf, thank you so much for being here for 30 months. I appreciate that, that is very kind of you. And... Titiono? Titiani. Titiani. Titiani? Thank you so much for the 100 bits, Titiani. That is very nice of you. Greatly appreciated. Zarkoia, you've been here for three months and I greatly appreciate it. And you got a Grimmy plushie, thank you. This is actually the last day, the last day that you can go and try to win the Grimmy plushie. If you have a Twitter, you can go there right now. And what you can do is you can enter to win a Grimmy Necromancer plushie, courtesy of Makeship, incredibly kind company, courtesy of Makeship. Daisuke, stop scratching your... The, what does that mean? That's... that sound... he's dead. Don't worry, he's dead. Um, why the deep voice though, Grimmy? I think it sounds cool, like in pure. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I... I sometimes just go, that'll be fun. I should do that. And then, like an hour later, I'm like, why'd I do that? Rogan... 
Breaker, thank you so much for the 300 bits, and Wits, 101. Thank you for being here with your Prime for two months, huh? Yeah, I'm still here. Yeah, I keep playing that music. Play that funky fun music from Silent Hill. Fat as Betch. Thank you so much for being here for 30 months. That... that's, um... You can't hear the music? What? Hey! I'm still getting advertisements? I thought I got this taken care of. I'm getting an advertisement for Silent Hill 2 at least. That's very topical. You can hear the music? It should be a little bit low. I can I can pump up the jams, but it's it's just like ambient sounds. Um Synthiists, thank you so much for being here for four months. Zephyry, thank you so much for the 200 bits. Rogan Breaker, thank you so much for the additional five gift subs. I appreciate that. It's very kind of you. Make sure you're taking care of yourself, though, each and every one of you. Grant Busters. Thank you for gifting five subs. And again, take care of yourself. That's a lot of money, especially right now. Especially right now. Oh, it's drowning me out a bit? Are you sure? Are you lying to me? Is this like one of those things where it's just like, haha, do this, haha, do that, haha, do this. Um, Kevkos, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Zephyry and Titiana. Very nice of you. Appreciate that. And Hazmat, thank you for being here for 19 months. That's a that's a beautiful anime man, if you're unfamiliar with them. It's it's honestly a bit disgusting what they do. Hi, Ecto! Hello! I can only hear Grimmy on my speakers. I don't know what to do. It was perfect before. <laughs> I give up. I don't know. I'm sorry. Fatima, Jasper, thank you for gifting five subs. Make sure you're taking care of yourself, and thank you very much. I hope that you're doing very well. And Kevkos, thank you for gifting a sub to Pricks, too. You, you gifted quite a few subs to random people in the chat. That's very nice of you. Are people being silly? Um... I don't know. If you guys are just going like, hey, like, change this, change that, I'll believe you, and then if I can't get it back to the way it was before you caused this, it was your problem. <laughs> if you intentionally trick- if you trick me, I'm not gonna be smart enough to go like, oh, they're tricking me. I'll just mess things up, I'm sorry. Wabbit the Curse, thank you for the hundred bits. And RM Bussy. I know what the word Bussy means, I hope that you're doing well, and you've- you've been here for 18 months, so I think you're enjoying yourself. Thank you. Very much appreciated. And also, thank you so much, Ellie240, for the 100 bits. Thank you. And Mr. Normal, thank you for resubscribing for three months at Tier 3. And thank you for being here for two months. Glad you're feeling better. Thank you! I hope that you're feeling well as well. And Chimus, nothing good ever lasts. Oh god, are you okay? Thank you for so much for being here for three months. That is very nice of you. Um, hope that you're doing well. Uh, Super Ultra Mega Death Aegon, thank you again for the... That's a lot of, like, bits. Um, thank you again for the... Jeez, uh... 10,000 bits. That is a lot of money in this day and age, and I hope that you are doing well. It's very kind of you. I, I also hope that, uh, you are not going to die because you did this, but that's very kind of you. Please take care of yourself. Don't die. Don't die. Um, L, Cole, and Q, thank you for the hunter bits, and I hope you're doing well. That's a programmer right there. That's a young... Should I say femboy? That's a young femboy programmer right there. That, that actually makes it sound like that's an illicit thing. They're a normally aged femboy programmer. But, um, like, that makes it sound like they're actually, like, I don't know, like, 14. They're- they're an adult femboy programmer. Femboy where? Uh, L clonk Q. L- or L colon Q, clonk. I used to call- I used to call you colon all the time, I'm sorry. He's androgynous, maybe? I thought he was, like, a- I'm sorry, an androgynous V2- Don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what's going on. Good luck. Cynthiaists, thank you so much for gifting five subs. That is incredibly kind of you again. I greatly appreciate it. Very kind. And then, <laughs> thank you so much for the 500 bits. Incredibly kind of you. Don't tell Klonk I said that. Citrus Peppercorn, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Thomas. Tootin? Thomas Tootin. 
I don't think that's his name, I shouldn't say that. And thank you Kevkosk again for gifting five subs again, after all of those other ones, that's very Late nice of over. Ready up. Hi Valorant, I'm probably not gonna play you. Why is my ad blocker never working now? Why did it just stop working? Oh well. <laughs> Why did it just stop working? What what happened? Why did you just decide you wanted to start playing ads again? What happened? I don't know. I'm not using an ad blocker. I would never do that. That was uh that was satire. My this isn't a price tag. This is to keep evil demons away. Don't worry. Um Wabbit the Cursed. Thank you so much for 400 bits. I appreciate that. In addition to the other bits too. Thank you. Otakoi, thank you for gifting a sub as well. That's very kind. Pie Meister. I hope that you're having a very good time with your pie. I have been having a mental breakdown, really wanted to eat strawberry pie lately. Also, hello, Carl. Thank you for the raid. I hope that you're doing well with all of your pies. Bad luck, Kuma. Like a bear. Thank you so much for being here for two months. And Kevkos, thank you for gifting a sub to new person. Oh. Firefox annoys me because YouTube's videos glitch and loading. Oh, interesting. I haven't had that issue, but I do know that, um... I do know that Chrome is apparently going to... Also, thank you very much, Crow. Guys, please go check them out. Very nice of you to raid. I, um... I do know that Chrome is going to soon, like, get rid of ad blockers and, like, not support them anymore because they want people to view ads and stuff. Yeah, Chrome changed some stuff, so... I'm probably still going to continue to use Firefox as like my personal browser and I'm probably going to continue to use Opera as like my, my browser for streams and stuff, but like, that's that's just me. It's just me. So I like Firefox. Good for you, Ecto. Heck yeah. I think it's the nicest one. Like also Chrome like has like so much processing power, like if you're, if you're using like tabs and like women use a lot of tabs. Women have like 80 tabs up and going. Google owns all of the ads and majority of browsers, so it was eventual. Oh, interesting. I guess that makes sense. Oh, wow. I wonder what's gonna happen in the future. Chrome is gonna try to strangle itself? I don't think so. Oh, also, good night, sad waifu weeb pics. Have a good night. I hope your waifus become happier. Um. You're a bit. <laughs> Some men also have a billion tabs. It's okay. Mako the tab queen, there you go. Well, some some people are, like, organized and stuff, too. Like, so it's... I've just noticed most women I know have, like, 800 tabs. I have 934 tabs open currently. If you were using Chrome, you would have 934 instances of Chrome running, essentially. Like, it's not very well optimized for tabs. Um, like, I think the internet's probably gonna get a little bit different, like, just since it's gotten so corporatized, like, it's gonna be much harder to use ad blocker and stuff. <laughs> like, initially, like, there was no way, like, I think, to, like, block ads and pop-ups and all other kinds of stuff like that, so... It's probably eventually gonna get to that again. 5k tabs, Riot? Dear lord. I feel a lot better. I have, like, 10 right now. Oh my god. Also, thank you, Abbott, for the 100 bits. You have 349. This is just... Oh no. Welp. Um, I will fight them trying to stop ad blockers tooth and nail. I don't know if we can do too much. Like, the thing is, like, everything's changing and society's getting really silly. Also, hi, old man diabetes. Please feel better. I have, like, 38 on my phone. Oh, wow. Holy crud. Um. Oh, 20 odd tabs she has open trying to get back to. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. I had something close to 50 tabs just yesterday. Oh my god. Just yesterday, so this is like a normal every- like, you wake up and you start and you get 50 by the end of the day. My goodness. Oh, You might be able to manually install ad blocker on ad blocker on Chrome if you just remove- if it just removed it from the site. Maybe. It might be possible. I need my emotional support tabs. I do too. What if I need to look up that thing I had like seven hours ago that like I lost all interest in when I like started doing something else, but it, what if I like gain interest in it again at some point for no reason? What am I gonna do? Like, uh, I don't know. It, it seems important. I have thousands of tabs. If they aren't there, I will forget it. Yep, exactly. And then if you accidentally lose them, you're just screwed. You can't do anything. Um, normal shook. Thank you so much for the hundred bits. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself as well. 
goo goo gaba ghoul gruel gremlin. Did you like get a longer name or are you like a different gaba ghoul gremlin? How many of there are How many of you are there? Sorry, I'm very confused by this. You need to lock in, you need to lock in, you need to lock in. I will lock in. Thank you very much, Epic Sai. I will lock in right now. Thank you. Um there you are. Thank you for gifting five subs. And Kevkos, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Mr. Dances. Ark Reaper 21, thank you for being here for 23 months. Two years of lurking here. Always chuckle. I'm glad that you're afraid of Five Nights at Freddy's. I was ready to destroy Five Nights at Freddy's 6. I could not make any advancements. I was losing it. I was losing it. It made no sense to me. I just could not make any progress. I'm probably gonna have to reset it and not take any of the sponsorship ads that go and like bring every single dude to you to like murder you. Packet Launcher. Thank you for being here and resubscribing for six months. Thank you for being here for two months. It looks like... I can't tell how these works. Um, Annie Ver Maggie, thank you for gifting 10 subs. That's an incredibly large amount of subs to gift. You don't need to do that. You're going to die. I'm just going to continue onward. I'm going to lock in. Hello, Swift. Thank you for being here for 18 months. I will have Gaspar come back and stream soon because you miss him. And you're the only one that remembers him right now. That's beautiful. And thank you very much, large winner. 69420 for gifting five subs. Whoa, went to went to Vite Ramen. Go check them out. They make ramen. I always thought that was so interesting. Sosala Sosaloft? Thank you for the hundred bits. What what is that? Sosala. Like it like sounds very German or French. You rock or be you rock. Sosaloft. Playing on Adele, thank you for being here for eleven months. Golden Kappa for our golden streamer. That is very kind of you. Very kind of you. Please do not encase me in gold and kill me. I don't want to die that way. That's very kind of you, though. I don't think that was your intention saying that. There you go. Huh? He can be one of your undead minions? I can try to revive you, but you're gonna come back weird and confusing. Shogun Kitten. That's a good name. I like to think of kittens doing different tasks. Good job. Thank you for resubscribing re with your Prime for three months. Doppelganger Zows. Thank you so much for gifting a sub. Who is the original? Why are you their doppelganger? Add J Liss. Thank you so much for subscribing, and I appreciate that. Ark Reaper. Thank you for giving a community sub to a random person. They received it, and they were extremely excited. Magnum... Doggo Dong. Thank you for the one bit. What a name. Why? But thank you for your support. Sarah Dami Sher, thank you so much for gifting a community sub. And Shimas, thank you for the hundred bits. Silfa, thank you so much for being here for six months. No, you're for being here for 16 months. For resubscribing for six months. Oh. I'm stuck in the basement here. I can't get out. Some, some sassy so-called paranormal investigator kept me here. Please help. I wouldn't do that. You can get out. It's your fault if you fell in there and now you're getting attacked by stuff. That's not my fault. I'm not responsible for the creatures on this property beating you to death with pipes. I'm not personally beating you to death with a pipe. The Phantom. Also, I'm sorry if that happened to you. I hope you're okay. The Phantom. 857. Thank you for being here for 23 months. Arc Mute X Hash Map. Thank you for being here for 10 months. Thank you for the grandma candy and the Pokemon. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. Yes, I did write that. I'm trying to make it so people are enjoying their packages. I'm 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 doing my best. I'm doing my best. Google these specific genital. No, nope. Google these nuts. Thank you for 300 bits. Citrus peppercorn. Thank you for gifting a sub to Steel Rat Zero. Brain Cyst Enjoyer. Thank you for gifting a sub to Ulcer. Mean. <laughs> But also fair. A small cat, thank you for the hunter bits. There's 478 Chuck E. Cheese locations? Wait, really? The Logic Ninja, thank you for being here for six months. Streaming back with a... I'm not a dwarf. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm glad you're doing well, though. Thank you, Innards, for being here for 20... Wow, 24 months. Holy flip, thank you. That's a long time. That's, that's two years. Thank you. I hope that you're doing well. 
And if you aren't, that's okay too. You will get better. You will get better. Captain Milk, thank you for gifting a sub to Skelter! Yo, Skelter! It's Skelter! And Fey Channel, thank you for being here for 21 months. Was actually a secret creature created in the laboratory. He's actually radioactive. Not Skelt, not my little guy. Drem Silith, thank you for being here for nine months. And thank you, Gaming Bleach, again, for gifting two subs. Thank you, Jinji, for being here for 30 months. Thank you, Nasty Kanasta, for being here for 16 months. Thank you, Reformed Stoner. Does that mean you just... Okay. For being here for six months with your prime. I always ask you that, I think. Like, I... Uh, <coughs> Aranosius, thank you for being here for two months. And Crow, thank you again for the raid. Wabbit, thank you again for the hunter bits. Epic Psy, thank you again. I am locking in. Swift, thank you again. Large winner, thank you again. J2 underscore underscore VT, thank you for being here for two months. I am feeling quite a bit better. Rusty Dusty FPS, what's that? Wh which one is that specifically? Thank you for subscribing with your Prime. Chaotic Spring, thank you for being here for two months. Mr. Frick, thank you for being here for 30. Yay! Yay! I appreciate it. Yo! I'm glad you're feeling good. Thank you. I'm feeling a lot better than I was a few days ago. Announcer voice? I thought I was being aggressive. Oh no. Oh no. But thank you very, very much, you guys, for coming by. I'm feeling a lot better. Getting a lot better. It is a humble raid, but you inspired me to start streaming. Oh yo! Congratulations! I'm very happy to hear that. I hope that your streaming goes very well and you enjoy it. And it brings a lot of loveliness and happiness to your life. Yo! Yo. <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, I don't speak Spanish, but thank you for that advertisement. Um, hope you are doing better, Grimmy. I am. And also, thank you, Milt Wolf, for being here for six months. And thank you, Evolved03, for subscribing. We can't let this happen. No! I'm, I'm very happy that you guys uh, were so supportive and so kind. Do you speak French? I wish. That'd be awesome. But no, I don't speak any other language. I want to, though. That would be amazing. Dios mio! That would be cool, see? I I think that would be fun. Like, any language, honestly. Why don't you simply block the advertisements? I'm trying. They change consistently, though, now. It's, it's getting a little silly out there. I think maybe if I, like, refresh it now, though, like, it should be okay. Yeah, it does seem to be okay now. Okay. And here, let me put on a nice one. There we go. I like this one quite a bit. This is probably mostly me that's watched this video. <gasps> huh, what about asking help from that girl? Oh yeah, that French woman was so beautiful. Learning new languages is fun. The thing is, like, I've tried to learn languages a few times and then I get overwhelmed by other things in my life and then I go- and I die. And then I can't learn them. And then I go crazy. And then I go, why didn't I not- why didn't I commit more to this? And then I go and back and I start trying to do it again and I go like, this is easy! And then something else will explode? I don't know if you guys have had this experience. Maybe maybe you live quiet lives and that's that's beautiful. <laughs> Chrome dropped oh wow. Officially. Oh wow. Oh. So it sounds like things are getting silly. I think advertisements and all this other stuff is gonna get formatted a little bit so people can start making more mad money off of people, and then only people that are a little bit more familiar with things will be able to block them, so that'll be interesting to see. Happened to you in the- oh, with Korean? Yeah! Mm. Mm. I evolved my Cyndaquil, I never evolved my Quill Lava. I've chosen to talk about this for no reason these past few days. You don't need to worry about why. Nothing happened that was weird. Don't think about it. Honestly, I just feel so bad for Game Freak. <laughs> Honestly, I feel so bad for Game Freak. They did not realize- oh my god. Also, thank you, TJ1023, for subscribing with your Prime. Uh... Yep. Lore enthusiasts are eating good, though. They're honestly really interesting. If you guys are unfamiliar with it, Game Freak had a bit of a time with the Pokemon Link. And 
the person that leaked it didn't leak any of the new game stuff. But for some reason they leaked the employee's name, which was horrible, but luckily everyone online has been supportive and not like being rude to them. They seem to be like, why would you do that? We love you person. Don't, it's okay, it's okay. So, very silly stuff. Um, but like, they didn't leak new game stuff, they leaked specifically like the lore documents and like older Pokemon game stuff that was never released, so... Yeah. Oh, they did leak a bit of info for the new games. Okay, they said they weren't gonna do that because they didn't want to harm the game studio. I don't know what they're doing, I think they should have been a little bit more polite to the person, maybe. Um, but like, the thing is, like, I don't know. But I found anywhere I can read the... Uh, it was on Twitter. I saw a little bit of it on Twitter. I, I guess they don't want you to find it, though, and I, I want to respect them, like, so I'm not gonna, like, say anywhere that you can, like, I don't know, like, I'm not gonna link places and be like, it's right here! Um, I really wish that, like, uh, the only reason I bring up, like, leaking that guy's stuff is just because I'd like to say if you guys ever somehow get involved in doing that stuff in terms of going to, like, game companies and being like, I'm a hero. Don't do that to someone that's so mean. Please don't do that to that person that you, like, got, like, their information from. That poor person! Oh my gosh. Also, thank you so much, that Thadalodius Moonsprocket, for being here. And thank you so much for being here for... For f oh, goodness, for subscribing at tier 1 six months in advance, thank you! And, um, I really appreciate that, and thank you so much for being here for five months. Appreciate it. Uh, nice outfit, I haven't seen it till now. Oh, I'm so happy that you like it! Um, of all the Pokemon true and they had to pick my boy Typhlosion... Well, they also... How do I put this? It wasn't just Typhlosion. There was a lot of interesting stuff, but yeah, it read like- that's what I was gonna say, it read like nation founding myths. It was kind of like almost biblical or like fairy tale like in practice, like... It was kind of like if you see all those like Greek mythology things, they're kind of like those. It was- there was some stuff where people were getting jiggy with Pokemon, but it was like kind of like almost like fairy tale like and like yeah, I don't- I'm not supporting it or being like, this is cool, like, it was- It's interesting as a concept, like, it's just- I don't think that people online can fully grasp that, and it's not- Also, hi, Philsifer, thank you for the posture check and hydrated stretch. Um, there you go. Oh, there's also some loss in translations. Oh, so people could be spreading worse versions. Ooh, my goodness. Um, so Pokemon had some leaks. That's what it comes down to, Psycho. They had some interesting leaks, and some of them were really interesting and cool. And I, I like Nintendo, and I like Game Freak and all those other companies, so... I hope that they can recover from it and be okay. That's pretty much it. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I think that people are probably really in trouble right now. Um, they're probably really not happy about that, so... That's the long and the short of it. They wrote some very interesting creation myth stuff, and... Either in the translations, I suppose, or just in general, they chose to... Include a lot of stuff that would be in those old style, like, creation myth, like, things. And yeah, I hope they don't go for lawsuits either. They were honestly really, like, interesting to read. So, like, I- I don't know. Like, exact stories that were there- oh, goodness. Oh, no. Well, I don't- I don't mean to make them uncomfortable or make them feel like people are spreading their, like, information that was leaked. So I hope that- I hope that they can recover from it. I was just completely taken aback by it, and I was like, what the flip? I thought they were gonna, like, show sprites of, like, I don't know, like, a Pikachu <laughs> in different poses. Like, I didn't think they'd do this, so... Yeah. If they find the leaker, they might execute them. I think they would probably try to sue that person. It's pretty intense. Now I understand where all those memes come from. Oh, all of the memes of, like, the Pokemon lined up, and they're going, like, why'd you guys do it, and stuff like that. Like, yeah, those are... Those are because of... Yeah. I hope they don't go for lawsuits either. It was honestly very interesting to read, and, um, I think as long as, like, the normal, like, news people don't pick it up and go, like, YOUR CHILDREN ARE PLAYING GAMES! 
with this content and like you know like it's not like something on like news stations they'll probably be fine if it's picked up by news stations they're they're probably gonna be really pissed off though i i think no one will like i don't know it would be a very yeah i don't know um the level of detail with they met a pokemon months later they had a baby yeah it wasn't like graphic or terrifying it was supposed to just kind of be like creation myth stuff why would the media ever use fear mongering against gaming? Here's the thing, like, I think that's true, but it might be too small and not spread enough that they would even pick up on it. And even then, it's very hard to, like, show them that there's actual sources for it and, like, confirm it to them, so I would assume that, like, news stations don't go like, Your children are playing games where they have intercourse with their creatures. More at 11. And, like, just going crazy and stuff like that, like... I don't think that'll happen. I think if that did, though, like, everyone would get so sued they would don't clip that i think if they did though everyone would get so sued that they would just be destroyed like every, like the person that leaked it would like have to go into hiding for the rest of their life in the forest like they would want to kill them like that's the thing like i think if it avoids that though everyone will just eventually like not care about it in like a week media would be too afraid of nintendo and how often they sue that also is very well, I don't know if they can sue them for just reporting on, like, leaks and stuff, can they? I'm not sure. Should I stop talking about it? Could they sue me? I don't- I don't dislike you, Pokemon. I'm very happy. You've brought me so many happy memories. Please don't sue me. You make me happy. You make me happy! <laughs> it was elaborate plot to keep internet's attention away from Ch I- okay, like, one thing. I didn't want to say this on Twitter also because I didn't want to spoil mouthwashing, but, like, enough people have played it at this point. Like, James is so lucky that, J like, Jimmy showed up, like, a week before him. Like, that dude is so lucky, like, when that game re-released, he showed up a week before him. James looks like a saint. James looks like the nicest person that's ever been in a horror game. Like, he's- <laughs> he looks like a gosh darn, like, normal human being. Like, it it's wonderful that that guy showed up specifically to just make everything look way better for Silent Hill 2. <laughs> They were going for Greek mythology angle? Like, yeah, I think so. I think they were. Um, so I hope that they can feel better, though. Lawyers get her- no! I, um... How far we've come from the news was panicking about Mass Effect showing a blue lady's buttocks? Well, something that many people don't realize about that whole Mass Effect thing was that the person that, like, initially said, like, Oh my god, this is horrible. We all need to get our children away from these. This is disgusting. It's horrible. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> She actually at one point saw it and went like, oh, I was over this is bad, I'm sorry about that, I shouldn't have caused all these problems. So it actually had a very happy ending. It's just that no one heard about that, because we're, like, you know, on the internet, and, like, people like to focus on, like, every, like, negative interaction, but she apologized and didn't seem, like, that upset about it at the end. And, like, things kind of calmed down, so... That's positive, she just didn't have the context for it and thought people were literally showing, like, I don't know, like, people straight up banging, like, to her children, which I guess would upset most people. But, um, we can only enjoy hatred, not positive stuff. Luckily, I think, maybe, hopefully, people will start re reporting on when people get along instead, hopefully. I'm loving Zatsudun when Grimmy has its- Oh yeah, wait, 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 Okay, we have to look at the fan art, though, I really want to, but thank you for letting- Thank you for, um... Yo, 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 yo. Okay, there we go. Thank you for, uh... Thank you for saying that, though. That's very nice of you. But I do actually want to do this. It was very kind of you, all the stuff you guys have made, and I would like to show you all of it, so, um... Let's see here. Let's see here! I'm gonna go through all of the ones that I can, um... Get from Twitter. So... Oh, there's been quite a bit, too. Okay. Who put Skelter in a microwave? He's gonna, like, melt your skin off. He won't be hurt, and he's gonna come melt your skin off, so... <laughs> let's... Let's hope that you're ready for a, a, a reckoning. Ready for a reckoning. Oh, I need to repost all of the stuff of your guys' Skelter plushies, too. I'm so happy you guys enjoyed them. I don't think I can do the GIF ones, just because I can't download them for Twitter that easily, so... Um, excited to see the fan art? Yay! Let me also do this so you guys can see my skull as we do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, take a look at that skull. I love the skull. Also, I think my- I think my outfit's okay, which is really- I'm very happy about this. Huh? 
oh, they, like, try to do that thing where they, like, bankrupt people. I feel like the thing is, like... I don't- I don't know. I don't think people should try to sue me because, like, if someone would, like... <laughs> if someone would try to sue me, I'd probably just try to, like, take them, like, to court and try to get as much of, like, their stuff on Discovery as I could. Just be like, okay, yeah, you can sue me, but I have nothing to do today. Why don't you- why don't you put into your Discovery, like, why this is the case, or this is the case, or this is the case, or this is the case, and I demand to see this, or this is the case, and this is the case, and I think this is relevant to the, like, lawsuit, and this is the case. I don't- I think I would be incredibly annoying, just based on, like, what I've researched about the law and, like, how crazy you can be. <laughs> I don't think it's a good idea. Uh... As a 3, 3L law student, that's the way to do it. It's the way to do it, I think, probably anywhere in the world, because people are just going to be like, this is really bad. Unless they've done absolutely nothing wrong. If they've, like, been up, like, um, upstanding citizens that have, like, only been positive, but then they probably wouldn't, like, put, like, a little... They wouldn't put, like, a silly litigation on you that, like, wouldn't be, like, you know... I guess it would have backing and it would actually be, like, very fair. Huh? Balrog, what the flip are you talking about? Maggots? Wait, what? What's going on? They don't have any of those. Um... Just annoy them into dropping the case? Perfect strat- Well, it's not just annoying, like, it would also, like... The thing is, if they're a big public-facing company, and, like, they have to, like, distribute enough of, like, their material to the point where it would start to seriously damage their stuff to have it publicly revealed, they'd give up, like... In the majority of cases, they would give up. They'd just be like, uh, well, they're talking about this and we have to, like, and if we get caught, like, having done this in the past, then I guess that we'd, um, uh. Like, yeah, they might eventually just murder you. <laughs> like, if they're a big corporation, they'd be like, we should, we should just kill them. They're, they're crazier than we thought. Um, I, I think that would be funny, though. Um. Grimmy <laughs> really said, try me. You don't understand. Like, if I get, like, too stressed out, I become a demon. But this is, um, this, this lovely piece was made by Red Destroyer. Their comms are currently open, and I think they're always, uh, doing commissions to, like, help their family. They've been very, very sweet. They were actually the first person I ever worked with for merchandise, like, for a very long time ago. They did an amazing job with it, too. Red's art is beautiful. And this was very, very, very kind of them. I love how they have, like, Skelter, like, dripping and slipping. They're beautiful. You remember those stickers? Yay! I, I really like them. So, um... Sounds like Grimmy consulted Boeing on how to deal with whistleblowers. I don't think he- I don't know. I think eventually, like, I would probably be murdered for being too annoying if someone tried to stop. <laughs> I don't know. I get really indignant and crazy, and I'll cause way more problems for someone if, like, I feel like they're doing something insane. Like, that's the biggest thing. Like, I wouldn't, like, do it, like, in my day-to-day -day life, but, like, if someone's like, we're gonna sue you unjustly just because we want to make you quiet, I'd be like, I'm going to make things a hundred thousand times worse for you. <laughs> and I don't think that would be quite fun for them. But, that aside, their artwork is absolutely beautiful. Please, um... Huh? Oh, sorry, Belrog, that makes more sense then! Is this a watercolor? I'm actually not sure. I think they use pens and then, like, different stuff with their art. It's very beautiful. It's very beautiful. And then this lovely next person we have coming up is... Your, your name on Twitter is a series of symbols I can't comprehend. They're beyond my comprehension. They're very fun. I like it a lot, though. <laughs> I like that they're beyond my comprehension. You're very, you're very powerful. You fool, this is my hyperfixation. I think it would be interesting. Um, I don't know. Like, the thing is, though, like, if it's ever something where, like, I don't know, like, I stab someone, you'd be fine. Like, I couldn't bring out anything and, like, like, it only works if, like, the place is, like, kind of corrupt and doing things very oddly. Like, that's the thing. If you stab someone, it's gonna be, like, bring out all of the material that shows I stabbed them, and it'd be like, okay, here you go. Skelter is very fuzzy in this one. This is so cute! Oh. Also, this is Dimensionless 8-8. Dimensionless 8-8. I think you did a beautiful job with this. I like the skull. Like, thank you very much for drawing the skull. I really like the skull. I love my skull. Also, thank you very much, Brad, as well. I, I love my skull. I, um, I hope that you had a fun time drawing it and, um... 
this is a very, very beautiful picture. You did amazing on it. I really love that you also um, give me a little bit more coverage in the bosom, unironically. Very powerful. Very powerful. I love your- You love your skull as well? It keeps your head intact? Hell yeah. But it's very cute. Thank you very much for your hard work on it. All of you guys. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And then this next one we have coming up is from Future Fox. Oh, this is a different outfit too. This is beautiful. I haven't, um... I haven't, uh, I haven't also, like, uh, retweeted a lot of these yet, just because, like, I was going through this thing where I was starting to get very sick and very tired, and then, like, I'd be like, I'll do this tomorrow. So it was a little bit random with, like, my retweets and stuff. I, I deeply apologize about that. This one is from Future Fox. Ooh, very pretty. Very pretty. Are these all in your art tag? Yes, they are. They're all in my art tag. Uh, Yama suggested I do a stream like this because I was like, I'm dying, I'm dying, and he was like, this would be a very, very neutral one. Good luck. Good luck. And I was like, that's a good idea. So, please thank Yama if you're enjoying the fan art showcase. It's It's been very nice, though, looking at all this stuff and getting to appreciate them. This is a different outfit. This is like I'm a goth shoddy. This is cool. I even have, like, a cross or a sword. A sword cross, if you will. And Skelter? Skelter has an expression that I haven't seen on, on him before. He looks like, Arr. Like, he's a little bit angry. I quite like it. I quite like it. It's quite fun, isn't it? Like, I, I think it's very cute. I'll retweet this one right now, too, since I haven't yet. I like it. Thank you very, very, very much. That was from... This was from Fut Futura Fox. Futura Fox. Or, uh, Future is in their name specifically. But very nice. I appreciate it. Skelter ready to kill? Yo, 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 yo. Skelter, get ready. We're gonna beat them to death. We're gonna beat them to death for all- I probably should have asked, actually, if I can show these on stream. Are people gonna be upset if I show these and, like, uh, like, get these out of here? I never gave you permission to show the fan art that I made you. Uh-oh. <laughs> I hadn't considered that, but I guess we'll just have to keep going. Um, if you don't want your fan art on stream, I don't have to show it. Uh, what if people are gonna be angry at me? This one's so cute, though. This one's adorable. Okay. Um, the hashtag gives you the okay? Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, oh no, it's okay, right? I'll try to do these in the future, too. What is this? A, um, a Tuesday? I'll try to do more Tuesday streams like this. Never sit. Yeah, free advertisement, kids. You make a piece of fan art, it's a free advertisement. This one's from an absolute men hair. Oh, they're on hurricane hiatus. I hope that you're okay, jeez. That hurricane was rough. So I hope you're all right. This one's from an absolute men hair. That means crazy person, usually crazy lady. Um, but this is very lovely. I love the color of like the sky in the background too. And I like that, um, I like the skull. Like, you drew the skull! That's the most important thing, like, that I, uh... I don't know, the funny skull is really lovely. You got all the details, it's beautiful. And the expression is very demure. Very demure, I really like it. Um, oh yeah! I, I do have a Discord fan art too, I should probably go through that as well. That sounds like a good idea, y'all, yeah, y'all, yeah, y'all! Yeah. This is just all the, uh, fan art from October. I can probably start doing this weekly if I, um, if I'm able to. Like, would you guys be interested in that? But thank you, an absolute Menhera, it's very lovely. Um, this next one's a little bit different. You may be thinking, I like this little block game. I, I, I ruined it. I spoiled what it was. 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 I already spoiled it. Um, I, I don't know how I did that. That was a dumb thing to say immediately. Um, this is a beautiful one. This is a Minecraft skin. You can now be grimy in Minecraft if you'd like. Mikon also made a very beautiful one that I've been using for a long time. I think this one has the cape though, yeah! Um, what block game could you possibly be talking about? There's Roblox. It has not- it doesn't have a lot to do with blocks though. Um, you showed this one before and I still love it. Yay! I think it's quite nice. Huh. Many VTubers are saying their house's ISPs has stopped service indefinitely after the hurricane- Oh my god, jeez! Oh. Those poor guys. I was just thinking, like, I need to get a Starlink. 
Like, we all need to, like, come together as, like, a community in each neighborhood and be like, we're putting our money together for a Starlink in case the world gets bad. For no real reason. We need to have this consistently just to make sure we won't die. Like, that, that might be worth investing in, but, um, I personally love this. It looks very cute. Very demure. I've been using demure a lot lately. I, um, I like the word. I think it's good that it's being brought back from, like, the past. <laughs> I think it's fun. There we go. Grimmy Starlake Network, let's go. You you should absolutely, like, probably try to, like, you, they're, they're expensive per month, so it might not be- <gasps> Someone posted their kid, you at Skelter. Um. You can download the entirety of Wikipedia, oh my gosh. Wikipedia is not the best source, though. People, <laughs> people go kind of crazy on Wikipedia. I remember, like, I was like, Wikipedia is so amazing, it's crazy. And then I also found out that, like, I don't know, like, there was a- I'm not gonna get into the recent controversy or, like, talk about what it was or anything, but, like... <laughs> a recent controversy was, like, people, like, not gonna talk about specifically what it was, but they were editing the Wikipedia just because they thought, like, a game deserved, like, a lower score. So even though it was getting really high scores, they were like, no, it got zero. It got ones, and it's like, it didn't, though. It's okay if you don't like something, but you shouldn't do that. You're being a little bit silly. So there's, they had to shut down the wiki just for that reason, because people kept going insane. Like, it, and it's okay. It was a good game. Like, people enjoyed it. It's all right. It's all right. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Taz. You, um, you did a lovely Minecraft skin, and here I am just talking about the silliness of life. Thank you very much for this. Thank you. Um, there you are. You used to pay Wikipedia to support it. That's very nice, though. They do do a lovely service. It's just also... It, it, it could be incorrect sometimes. Like, that made me think, like, why would they do that? How much is incorrect? <laughs> there was also the person that kept editing, like, I think it was, like, a random... I forgot what state it was, but every, like, so often they just edit a state larger and larger and larger and larger until one day they talked about it and they were like, who snitched on me? They changed it back. There you go. There you are. This one's very, very beautiful. This is from Sleepy Clown. Your name used to be different. Wasn't it? Was Wait a second, what? Your name was different before. Wait a second. You were Sticky Clown before. Sorry, wait, what am I doing? I don't know why I'm doing that to you. That was rude of me. You're allowed to go by whatever name you like. That was, that was incredibly rude. Um... It was different- Okay, thank, thank you for being cool with it! You could have changed your name to, like, get away from, like, something intense or, like, something like that, but I was just immediately like, I know who this is! Sorry, I- I just remember, you've done a lot of very nice art, it's been very nice of you, I appreciate it. It was in no way, shape, or form, like, get him! It was more just like, I are- Okay, you're not insane- That's okay, thank you. Th thank you for understanding, thank you. Um, but they've done a beautiful picture, this one's absolutely gorgeous. I still need to retweet this one also, like, I- like I said, like, I was just, like, for four days or however long I was gone, and even a little bit before that, I was, like, out. But I think I'm slowly, like, getting back into it. So this is very beautiful, and thank you so much for making it. I love, like, the beautiful, like, is that, like, the moon? What's oh, the eclipse! It's an eclipse! It's it's just all around lovely. Lovely, lovely. Thank you. Burn down their house? Uh, no, 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 no. Nope, let them be sleepy. Nope, no burning. Nope, no burning. Nope, no burning. Um, let me, let me put, um, let me put your Twitter on here so you guys can go and check that out. There you are. 15 hours have a negative effect on your health, Crimbo? No, it was already getting a little bit rough. Like, I think it was just, um, I was getting stressed out about stuff out of my control with, like, business and all this other stuff. And it's, it's getting fixed. It's like... I just tend to, like, get very stressed out and go, like, I'm going to die, 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 I'm going to die. Oh my god, I can't do anything about this situation. Oh my god, what am I going to do? So now I'm starting to calm down, starting to relax, starting to just know that everything's going to be okay. There we go. There we go. It's okay. It's all right. Oh. And when you do that, you feel a lot better. Yes, remember to breathe, otherwise you will develop an ulcer and feel sick. You don't want that to happen to you. But more importantly, this is a beautiful piece of fan art, and it's going to be okay. All of those things that you're worried about are eventually just going to be okay. 
Now this next piece of fan art took at least a few years because they had to fully develop an animal. <laughs> I like this. Am I supposed to breathe? Yes, breathe. Ah, that's a relatable feeling. Gets overwhelming sometimes. Oh yeah, we can just breathe and relax though, but... I was just starting to go like, oh jeez. But I'm getting everything sorted out. It's so realistic, it's incredibly realistic. Look at them. And they have Skelter as their buddy. Their eyes kind of match, honestly. Like, they... <laughs> Very cute kitty. Very adorable. Love their little white paws. Love their little tiny, little tiny face. Itty bitty face. Oh my goodness. Very tiny. That's your kitty? Yo, they're very cute. I, I appreciate you showing them to us. They're a very cute kitty. Very sweet. And I hope them and Skelter are getting along. Very round. They look very like- what is this thing? Why do I have this? Um, but anyways, it's, it's a very lovely picture and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. It's the perfect- it should have a perfect score. All of these have had a perfect score for me so far. I love them. They're beautiful. I just want everyone to know that you've done an incredible job, and e even if you're making fan art for other VTubers, if you're ever like, oh, it's not good enough, or like, oh, I don't know if they'll care about, like, seeing, like, this with, like, you know, like, at my house, or, like, with my animals, like, they won't care, like, they'll just hate me, they're gonna, like, look at it and be like, I hate them, I hate them, they suck, they suck. That's not how anyone feels. Like, no matter what level of, like, um, artistry you're at, or, like, what, like, level of, like, just taking a picture of, like, your merchandise it's gonna be. Like, it doesn't need to be, like, a beautiful, pristine picture with, like, high-quality everything. Like, people are just gonna like what you do. <laughs> don't- don't hide away from society forever. Please have a good time. But also, hello, Canadian Thor. He's the kitty! How are you? This next one is very nice. Um... There we go. Current song? Oh, their friend was talking to them, too. Like, this is very lovely. This was from, um, Mittens86. They're doing a lot of doodles each day, too, so they have quite a few people that they've been doodling. And it looks like their commissions are also open. Oh, gosh, they have some very, uh, alluring ladies on their commissions, so... If you would want to see some hindquarters and, uh, buttocks, that's by all means, but, um... I'm going to link this and tell you that, uh, you should be... You should have discretion with that, because, um, while this is very adorable, and I do really appreciate and love it, um, they have their commissions open if you're looking for someone to commission, and they are very beautiful, full-figured ladies, um, but just keep in mind that, uh, they are in states of not complete undress, but I don't want you to go in there and be like, Grimmy, what is this? How dare you? What are you sending to me? Like, you, you've been warned. <laughs> you have been warned, so there you go. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Well, no, no, I- what? I don't think we're talking about war. You have been warned. Warned. But yeah, their style is very lovely. Thank you very, very, very much for this. This was done by the very kind Mims. 86. Mims. Thank you very much for this. Also, Restwar made a very nice clip. I, um... I don't know how to download clips and, like, put them on the stream, so what I will do instead is I will... I will retweet that. I will retweet that. I'm also gonna be retweeting everything as I do this. Because it's just been too, ni too nice. You guys have been too kind. All of them. All of them. Every single last one. <laughs> and then this is from Melo Terry. Melo Terry. Kind of like military. Military. Melo Terry. Military. Oh, we should do another MRE stream at some point. I was just. <laughs> I was eating an MRE the other day. Maybe that's why I got it all. <laughs> I've been eating garbage and going crazy. Cool. Um, this is from Mello Terry. This is from Mello Terry. And it's a very beautiful picture. Look at those colors. Look at those colors. What? What colors? My goodness. Gracious golly gosh. This is beautiful. Like, if I saw this at, like, a con, like, I would put this in a frame. Like, they, they have some really, really beautiful work. My goodness. But please go check them out. This is... Oh, it says Tello Mary. No, Mello Terry. Tell him Mary say so. Tell him Mary say so. Well done, Mel. It's very beautiful. All of these have been incredibly beautiful so far, though. Like I've I've appreciated everyone. And again, oh, this this song is kind of loud. If you ever feel like, oh my god, they're not gonna like my stuff. They're gonna think I'm stupid. They're gonna hate me. They're gonna come to my house and beat me to death with a hammer. Oh my god, it's gonna be really embarrassing. That's not really how people work. 
It's how you feel like it'll work, but it's not it's not how people feel. They're not gonna do that. It's very beautiful. Thank you very much. I really love it. I love that um it has a very demure expression. The skull right there, right up front. And like I, I, it's just very cute. I like also how like the hips are back and stuff. Very adorable. I'm waiting for the MS Paint, dude. MS Paint's lovely. That's where you get your start. And then this is um, this isn't fan art, but this is something that Ecto commissioned. But I'd still like to show it because it's very cute. Why does everything have to involve hammers? That's just what people have on hand to murder people these days, I guess. What am I talking about? Never mind. Never mind. But this is very cute. This is, um, this is a picture of, yeah, me and Ektal, Ektal and I, it's very adorable, I really like it, like this person draws, um, this person draws deranged little ladies in very cute ways, and I'm gonna also go and get their Twitter really quick, but it'll take me like one extra second for that, give me one extra second for that. One sec, one sec, one sec. Okay, this is their Twitter. This is their Twitter. They draw a lot of, like, lovely little squiggly, like, gals. So I think if you like that, you should definitely check them out. And they are on Skeb. And their Skeb price is, like, it's 100 or, uh, 10,000, wait. 10,000 yen. And with how things are right now, that's, like, 60 to 70 bucks because things haven't been going very well for the economy. Um, the economy. <laughs> the economy. There you are. Very terrible truth of spirals. Ooh. The first time last night and she was defining nightmare fuel with her teeth. <laughs> Ecto's amazing. She's very sweet. Please go check her out. I really wanted to stream with Ecto on Sunday. I was very, very sad that I was just like, I'm dying. But Ecto was very sweet. She was even just like, can you do this? And I was like, no. I'm dead. You have to go on without me. And she, she, she had a lovely stream, I think, so I'm very happy about that. Oh, this next one is... This next one's from Fridge. Fridge actually does the, um, the bottle art for the hot sauces. Fridge draws, and he, or she, does an amazing job of it, so thank you so much for that. Also, good night, ANHD. Sleep well, sleep well. Please have some good dreams. I, um... I really like this one. It's absolutely beautiful. I've seen it a few times and I've been like, I need to say something nice about this. I need to retweet this right now. But every day I <laughs> I just go, Urgh. so I'm going to start doing that now that I'm no longer dying. And then this one's a beautiful one. Please check it out. I'm about to put it on screen right now. It's okay. It's nice. It's beautiful. How dare you? Um, sorry, that's rude. I didn't mean to say how dare you. That's root. Please go check them out, though. It's a very beautiful picture. Like, the purple and, like, the green. Jeez, look at that. Like, the contrast of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, whoa, indeed. Love the colors. Oh, love the colors indeed. It's beautiful. Like, all the little details on it, too. Like, it looks very lovely. And I love the expression of it. Like, it's very nice. I am, um, I'm very, I'm a big fan of this one. It's very lovely. Nice artist. The artists are incredibly talented and incredibly kind. I really do appreciate it. I know that it takes a lot of time to make, like, art like this, too. It's not like you just sit down and go, like, I'll do this in two minutes, which is how everyone feels like it probably is made. Just like, I'll just do this in, like, two minutes. Here you go. Here's a beautiful art piece you could use in, like, you know, like, Genshin Impact or something. Like, you know, like, at the top of, like, Industry Craft. Like, yeah, yeah, just whatever. Like, it took me two minutes. Like, that's, it's like, this took, this took 3,000 hours. Please enjoy. Like, you know, like, it's usually like that. Um, purple and green always look great together. They do. It's not a combination you usually see that often also, so it's very nice. Yeah. This gives me a strong society vibe. I don't think there's anything about so Oh, you mean the Joker! I'm not gonna talk about the Joker. The meme about the Joker is insane right now. Uh... Purple and green always feel like war to me. Yes, they're very lovely. I honestly think it's a wonderful color combination. Sorry, I just started thinking about the Joker memes from right now. I know you must have seen some of the Joker memes. What the flip happened? But I, I won't speak ill of it. I know that Peepa is a really big fan of the movie, so I, um... 
I hope that they continue to find their audience and uh, people continue to enjoy the Joker. Um, beautiful, beautiful movie. I didn't understand. So, um, yeah. I know Terrifier or Thriller or one of those <laughs> movies came out recently and people are deciding they're their new clown overlords. So, um, good, good stuff. Um, hello, Kaigoji, how are you? Um, there you go. There we are. This one is quite cute coming up. Um, sorry, I just... The Joker stuff is insane. I... Why did they... People admitted to never having seen the first one, so she had no info on the first movie. Oh, then it must have just seemed like a fever dream. It must have just seen like 30 people going insane and like going crazy at like a trial that had like no context or understanding. That must have been awesome. Erase your memories of the first Joker and go in, see what you think. This one is very cute. I think this is a very adorable drawing. This is by Common Pillbug. I love pillbugs! I used to- I used to- I used to get really excited whenever I saw one as like a younger little- as a younger? As a baby. Like I was like- I was so excited. Those little guys that roll up and like have little tiny legs. They're like- they're like um- they're like mini millipedes. Roly polies! Yeah! Very cute name. And um, also very very cute art. This is so sweet. Like it kind of looks like uh... It kind of reminds me of um... what's it called? Um bag of milk inside of a bag of milk inside of a bag of milk like it's very cute but also it looks like there's a degradation of the mind occurring that's incomprehensible to anyone outside of it which is cute i love it it looks like a visual novel portrait yeah 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 yeah. it's very nice i quite like it maybe really pull these extra cute teeny tiny little guys yeah as a younger yes as a younger as a younger baby yes in my youth as a baby I, uh, I really enjoyed the little common pill bugs. That's very nice. I like the Kong, uh, centric circle style in the eyes. Yeah, the eyes are also very cute, and the little, like, mer Like, very nice. As a younger Victorian child, yes, yes, exactly. Absolutely. I don't know why, but whenever I think, like, in my youth, I want to be, like, an Australian explorer or, like, someone that, like... Is this the Draco from... Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, this took me by surprise. It's a very beautiful piece, though. Thank you very much for it. And I'm, um... I'm gonna retweet it. As soon as the other ones get a little bit of time to, like, retweet it. This is a really cool picture. I... I played this game. I really liked it. This is quite... Faye, what have you been up to? <laughs> Faye, I've not been checking in on what you've been doing. What are you doing lately? Okay. It's the Drago from Mother 3. Also, Skelter looks so cute asleep here. Oh my goodness. I'm happy for them. Uh, that's very nice of you, Faye. This is, this is the Drago from Mother 3. They are fine in this picture, and that's how they're going to stay forever. It's an alternative universe where everything's good forever. I was coping super hard about the Dracos and- Oh god, yeah. Okay, yeah. They're all fine. They're all fine. I will take care of them. I will blast the oppressors that try to bother them. They are going to be safe and happy forever, I understand. They will be safe and happy forever. They will have lots of little snacks. And any family that is around them will have lots of little snacks too. It was- Mother 3 was a very intense game. I think it was made just to give like- it was made to give children like new existential crises to worry about like as they got older I think. It's a very cute picture Faye, I very much appreciate it. It's very adorable and you did an amazing job, you're very talented. And this Drago and all of them will be happy forever. Don't- don't you worry. They will be happy for the rest of their natural lives forever. Forever. I um, really like that game. So, was Mother 3 better than Mother 2? I love Earthbound. Uh, it was different. They were very different games. I, I liked Mother 3 more than Earthbound, but I think I, I think it's totally fine to like Earthbound more than Mother 3. They're very different. They're very different games. I liked um 
I like certain aspects of the characters and like the um, the plot more in like Mother Three than I did Earthbound. So, um, but that was uh, that was Faye's art, and I need to I need to make sure I like to Faye. Oh my goodness gracious! I just didn't do that. My goodness. Here we go. I'll leave this on screen for a little bit. There you go. But Faye's very talented. They draw a lot of comics about VTubers. They're very hardworking. Please go check it out. Mother Two feels more open world, at least. Yeah, that's very true. Uh, compared to the first two chapters of Mother 3. Mother 3 is very different. Um, Mother 3 is also very... Very sad. I, I, I won't spoil anything else, but Mother 3 is, like, not a game you play, like, when you want to, like... Have a good time and have fun. Like, it's a very... It's kind of a bummer. Like, it's not, like, a bad game at all, but it's kind of a bummer. Like, although we played mouthwashing, so, like, that's... It, I don't... I, I think you're fine now. It punches you in the heart over and over. Oh, yeah. I just know Mother 3 is depressing. It's very depressing, but it's, um... Yeah, it's sad, but it's a beautiful sad. It feels like a story about growing up and getting used to... Very unhappy circumstances. It's a game about growing up and getting used to all of the bad things that happen in life, I think. And you still have nice people in your corner and, like things going on in like a positive way but like it's very much like a things are very different after negative circumstances occur things can never go back to like your childhood no matter how badly you want them to and bad things occurring will severely alter your life even though you think that you're in a situation where you're going to be the same forever it's not the case when bad things occur things are going to feel significantly different and that desire to return to like what happened before is normal, but it's not going to happen. You have to accept life for what it is in the future, when it's different. I think that's the overall theme of it. But I could be wrong. I don't know. Chapter 99, I just finished drawing the hardest page. Oh, dang. Congratulations, Faye. Personally, I don't care about stories about feelings because I've basically resolved all of mine, so I like it when stories challenge or expand my consciousness instead. Which makes Earth Down fun, uh, the one for me. It's, it, it, hmm. It's not just feelings, though. It's more about, like, also, there's different, like, concepts and, like, things in it. Like, I don't want to boil it down just to, like, sadness. I think it's also, hmm. I think it also, like, tells you a little bit about the world and, like, why people get the way they do. And it also does have references to, like, other stuff. So I would I would recommend if you've if you've played Earthbound at all, you definitely wanna Oh you've ex okay, cool. I was gonna say if you haven't like played it, it's worth playing. It's worth playing. I've played both and I like both of them. Um Earthbound is definitely very fun and it feels like you're on an adventure. Mother 3 feels like you are um different. <laughs> you're gonna start the part with the monkey. Oh that part's really fun. I hope you enjoy it. It's also very I hope you enjoy it. I enjoy, Faye. Enjoy the game. I won't say anything that's a spoiler besides I think personally the themes are about bad stuff happening. So it's very beautiful though. Thank you very much. I really like the art and it brought back a lot of good memories and horrible memories, but they were all worth having. Thank you very much. And now we have this beautiful piece. This beautiful piece by Not Ray. This is Not Ray, although their name on Twitter is Ray. So, take of that as you will. Looking respectfully, it's very cute. It's very, very cute. The, like, skulls in, like, the bottom, like, all of, like, the, like, little, like, bones and stuff like that, and then, like, I love, like, the, uh, I love the way the, like, cape flays out and stuff. It's very nice. Also, hello, the Oryx! Hello! Uh, oh, yeah! I, am. Um, I'm a necromancer for this month. And if, I guess, if anyone I know ever dies and needs help, like, I'm a necromancer then, too, so, like, yay! What do you think of Mother, the first one? It's a game you have to play like three to five years after playing the others because the quality of life is different. That's what I'd say about Mother, what? It's good. It's very interesting. But yeah, it has a high spawn rate and it's one that you can't just go back to back from like Earthbound or Mother 3 because you're gonna feel those quality of life changes so intensely, which isn't probably what you meant. Like the story is good. 
Um, it's interesting, like, it's an interesting concept, but they've kind of improved on a lot of the stuff they did in that one in Earthbound, and took a lot of, like, the concepts from it in Earthbound. Um, but I would say it's, it's worth playing. It's just... Um... I got pissed at the intro for this costume? Wait, what did I do? Oh, oh yeah, I murdered all of them. Sorry, I did murder all of them. That's all the guys I murdered! Yay, they're okay though. Um, yeah, you can't avoid enemy encounters. There's a lot of them. The thing is, if you don't play Mother 2 or Mother 3, like Earthbound or Mother 3, for like three to five years, and then you go try to play that one, it's not that bad. But if you have any sort of memory of playing the other ones, your brain is just like, I don't want to do this, you can't make me do this. So that's what I'd recommend, just take a very long gap between those other two games, then try to play Mother 1 if you'd like to. That's just my recommendation. Clear the work of a producer who's not experienced in game design. Yeah, and it's not bad, like, and you can see the growth of the person, like, a lot. I'd say if you, like, have a real desire to, like, play something Earthbound or Mother 3 related and all you have is Mother, I'd say play the Earthbound Halloween hack and, like, get into that and, like, look up, like, stuff about that story a bit, like, because that one's interesting. It does have, like, a few bad words in it that aren't really acceptable today, but I think it's still a very interesting game, and, like, you can see a lot of, uh, Toby Fox's, like, influences and, like, things that he's been obsessed with for years, so I, I think that one's worth checking out. Um, but also, like, uh, I don't know, like, the original Mother game's not that bad at all, so have a good time with it. Uh, yeah, there there were a few gamer words, but he has grown from it, it's true. Um, I'm not saying this to get him in trouble or make people angry at him, like, it was a very long time ago, everyone's going through their stuff, Toby Fox has obviously done as much as he can to, like, try to make people feel happy with his games, and he's not, like, a crappy person, he just, he just happened to be an edgy, like, teenager, it seems like, so, you know. Um, uh, Mother 2 is Earthbound, right? Yes, Mother 2 is Earthbound. Very good game. And even Mother 1, I think it's very interesting. Um, but, I love this piece of art. It's very beautiful. I love the expressions and, like, the eyes that, like, like, this person gives, like, their, their characters and their fan art. Like, they're all very, like, hmm. Like, they're very, like, I can't even make the expression, like, fully. Even though my eyes are usually like that, like, Ah, it's hard, it's hard. It's very nice artwork, yeah. Oh, there's that Mother 4 fan game in the works. Uh... I like how you're deadpan and half your art and super happy in the other half. That's probably how I think people view me. It's nice, I appreciate it. Also, hello Atticus, thank you for subscribing at tier 3 for 4 months. Hasn't been a fun work week, but at least the rest of my shift will go by fast now. I'm very sorry about that. Please get some good work in and just know that afterwards you can go home and lay down and go like, ah! And it'll be nice. Yay! I hope you get a nice day off very soon. It's never coming out? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say about Mother 4. It's either never gonna come out or Nintendo will probably get a little bit upset with them because they're gonna be like, this is our IP, what if we make a Mother 4? We're going to murder you. And then they'll have to change the name. And then there's two attempts, the fake one and the less fake one. I'd really like if they made something, but they probably are gonna have to change the name, which isn't necessarily bad, but like it's gonna be something where it's gonna be a whole thing. Hmm. Hmm. They did change the name in anticipation. That's really good. Father 4. There you go. I'm sick of Nintendo doing that. Nintendo's very... Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how to put it. Oh yeah, they've been trying to make Disco Elysium 2 like crazy. Those poor guys. It is a miracle Earthbound got released. Someday we might actually have an official translation of Mother 3. The one negative thing with the Mother 3 fan translation is that they didn't translate any of the items you can check. I think they, they didn't translate like a single one besides like the mirror at the start of the game. They essentially couldn't translate like half the game because it would have taken forever. 
So I've been waiting on an official Mother 3 translation for years. It's okay. Um, also, thank you. Thank you so much, Muli Sips. I hope that you're doing well, and I hope that you're having a good night. Thank you so much for subscribing with your Prime. I hope that, um, I hope that the stuff that you're working on is going very well, too. You were saying a lot of puns are of the items are lost. It's kind of like, um, you know when you saw something interesting in Mother 3 and you could, like, go walk up to it and check it? Oh, wait. It's been years since I checked? They did translate eventually? Oh, they did? Did they actually update the game? I'll play it again if they did! <laughs> but, um... Like, they made it so, like, if you walked up to, like, something interesting, like a waterfall or, like, a painting and you did check, like, usually it would have some, like, funny thing that, like, Lucas or whoever you're playing as would comment on. But they had to take that out because it would have taken so long. It would have taken so long. So they added the flavor text back in. That's lovely, because I remember they were talking about that. Like, some of it was very important, too. <laughs> some of it was, like, super important lore stuff, and they were just like, we couldn't do it. And it's like, yeah, that's fair. That must have taken you years to do this. I'm sorry. That's very fair. Um, but let me, let me, let me continue onward with this. So then there's also this beautiful picture that was made by Matt Juice. That sounds like Beetlejuice's son. Wait, someone tagged you? Oh, interesting. Wait, what happened? Why? Huh? 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 Um, the silhouettes on this one is very strong. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It is, actually. I'm, I don't know that much stuff about art stuff, but now that you put it that way. Um, okay. This one. This one. This one is quite beautiful. This has a very interesting concept behind it. This looks actually like it might be a reference to... It might not be, but it might be a reference to a specific game you're all familiar with. It might not be, though. If I'm just saying random stuff, please feel free to correct me. This is very beautiful, though. Also, hello, Tana Tenshi! How are you? Are you doing well? We're looking at fan art right now. Dark influence. Ooh, yo! Dark energy. Manifesting dark orbs in your house. Manifesting dark orbs in your house. Oh. Wow, an ad break started like this second. I'm so sorry, you guys. <laughs> that sucks. Um, thank you for coming by. Sorry about the ads. Thank you for coming by. Sorry about the ads. I apologize for that, but I hope you guys had a really good stream. Yo! Yo! I appreciate it! Yo! Add summon, unfortunately. Like, right at the time- There's 41 seconds left of them, but, um... I guess it was just really bad... Twitch timing. I apologize about that, but it's very nice to see all of you guys, if you can hear me. <laughs> if any of you can hear me, I'm Grimmy. I hope you're having a good night. I should probably wait until after the ads are done. Also, thank you, Zilla, for, for gifting a sub to Ten Tenshi. That's very nice of you. I hope that you guys had a lovely stream. I see you were chatting. Ooh, what were you chatting about? What were you doing? What were you having a giggle about? Hope you're having a good day, Grimmy. We usually do scary games, games but we watch some- Ooh, videos and yapping! Oh, that's so nice! Yo! Are you doing some scary stuff for October or in general? But either way, very lovely. Thank you so much for the raid, too. If you guys would like to- Tone. Oh. Tone. Tone Tenshi. Tone Tenshi. Tone Tenshi. Thank you. I appreciate that, Zilla. Thank you. Um, thank you guys so much for coming by. So, uh, today we're looking at some Tane. Tane. Tane Tenshi. Tane Tenshi? <laughs> Sorry. Tane, Tane, Tane. Tane. No, it's okay. It's okay. We're, we're, we're learning. We're figuring things out. We're, we're evolving, we're getting it, we're figuring things out. Um, thank you very much, Tane Tenshi, for the raid. If you guys would like to go and check this nice person out, they were kind enough to raid us, and I'm sure that they would appreciate you doing the same and checking them out. We are currently looking at fan art and stuff. It's been really nice, too. This one is from a kind person by the name of... Matt Juice Matt Juice. I believe... They're a fan of Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. I will not repeat their name a, a third time, as that is uh, asking for bad things to occur. But what a beautiful picture. 
That glass is also cracked. It's very beautiful. Also, yeah, I'm glad you like the, the new model. I'm a necromancer. If you ever die, please let me know. I'll do my best to, uh, to assist you. Uh, hopefully that won't be the case, though. Hopefully you're gonna be A-OK. -okay. But I think this is a beautiful picture, and I, I really love it. It's very beautiful. The concept behind it is very strong. It's very high concept. I like that the, um, the eyes look very, like... Like, don't think about it, don't think about it, don't think about it, don't think about it, whatever it is, don't think about it, 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 don't think about it. It's very cool. I love it a lot. This was very kind of them, and I, um, I really appreciated the hard work they put into it. Thank you. If you ever die, I guess you are going to die statistically. Everyone will. So when you die, let me know. I'll hook you up. You probably won't have any concept of who you were as a person and your life will be unimaginable suffering. Like, you know, most necromancers don't really put in the time or effort. I don't either. But you know, it'll be cool. It'll be interesting, right? That'll be kind of fun. Also, thank you, Silpha, for the 300 bits. Don't summon them. No, 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 no. I know a banana that is dying. The fruit? Are they okay? Are you okay with gaming bleach? No! 98% of people die at some point in their lives. Did I say that? Can you bring me back as a skelly boy? I want to be 100% calcium. Hell yeah. Good on you. Don't let society stop you from being what you want to be. This is a, um... This is a beautiful... Beautiful little funny picture from Faye. You'll put in the effort for friends, right? I said I'd try my best, but I don't know. What if I have a stomach ache? What if I'm tired? Whoa. Oh, this is fun. Skelter's hanging out with the girlies, and he's got some food. This this next one coming up too, but like, um I'm happy that uh, I'm happy that you've had such a fun time drawing me, Faye. I hope that you're enjoying yourself tonight and having a good one too. This one makes me look like I'm about to throw up. Also, thank you! I'm glad you like my model and its accessories. Yo! Can you animate my hair, teeth, nails, and skin separately? Not requesting you do that, but just curious. I'd always like to try. I think you would probably feel inevitably, like, um, horrible every second and constant pain if you were to be animated separately from the rest of your moving parts, but you know what? Science finds a way. Um, you're always tired, Gary. It's true. It's true. Uh, I, I don't think that you should try to get reanimated in such a way where you're constantly in unending pain and all that, but you know. Just, just saying. Just saying. I think hair could be fun, though. Uh, you, you might have fun being hair. Necromancy is science? There's a science to it. There's, like, there's a science to any art and, like, any form of, like, anything. It's a science on some level. Like, you, I, I'm sure that there's, like, things you need to pour into different containers, and you need, like, goggles, and you need to go, like, oh, wow. The reaction. Hmm. My goodness. Huh. Oh. Huh, oh, I see. I like how diligent the mods are. I didn't even see what happened. Was it bad or good? Uh, oh, wait, Banana, are you okay? Go to sleep, go to sleep. I think that goes for everyone. Make sure that you're getting enough sleep each day or you're gonna feel like absolute garbage. Um, this next one comes from... This this isn't necessarily fan art, but it is cute. This next one comes from... Let's see here. Tyler L. Tyler L. Thank you very much for submitting this beautiful picture of Skelter hanging out with some ladies. I quite like that. They're all having a good time. Th this one might be a young fellow, too. Like, it looks like behind the cup, like behind the gamer subs. Um, oh, I like the Alice one. It's quite cute. There's too many cat treats in one place. There's... Skelter is a very hungry little boy. Let him have him. Let him have him. I was just pushing buttons. Okay, cool. Yay! Do reanimated dead nerves even feel pain? I don't know if that's something we should ask ourselves. <laughs> Probably. I guess, like, if you're, like, dead enough, like, do you not feel pain? But if you're not dead enough, do you feel constant pain? My evil Neurosama lurking in the bottom. <laughs> She's so cute. They can? Oh, that's not good. Oh, I can't do this one because it's a GIF, but, but, um... I'll use a downloader and I'll get it in the future, but this one was by Extra Fuzzy. It's quite nice. But thank you so much for taking care of Skelter. I hope he has a lovely life with your girls. And, um... I'll show this one with extra fuzzy, like, um, next to my stream. 
Oh, I'm sorry, a GIF, if you guys want to, like, have a mental breakdown and start fighting. A GIF. It's a GIF. But I think this is a very nice room, and it sounds like you're having a nice little party there with all of your lovely little ladies. And now Skelter can be a part of it, too. That's very nice. Yay! Very happy about it. There we go. I loved making that pixel coma. Thanks for the fun. I'm glad that you're, you enjoyed making it. I, I looked like I was throwing up, though. No, a GIF. GIF. That's apparently how you're supposed to say GIF. It's a GIF. This next one is by the lovely Vibing Dead VT. Vibing Dead VT. I quite like it. It's nice. I also look like I'm pulling off my hoodie like a real sexy lady. Like, I, I feel like, um, I don't know. Like, I feel like I'm actually doing something that makes me look like Hubba Hubba. That's quite nice. I might actually just be cold. What if there's a lot of wind? Um, the hair is amazing. It is. It's very nice, and it looks very soft, too, even though it's brushing all around. It's pronounced Jif Sonic. What's... what's Jif Sonic? Jif Sonic. Huh? 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 Thank you so much, Kit Kat Kari. How are you? Are you having a good time? Thank you so much for being here for six months. Yo! It's a Sonic meme. Oh! Jif is a peanut butter. No. That's that's unfortunately incorrect. How you how you say Jif peanut butter in your words is actually gif peanut butter. Yes, it's very French. Gif peanut butter. To like the J is um the J is elongated into a G sound. Gif peanut butter. Yes. Yes, I know it's quite confusing, but gif peanut butter. Yes. Mhm. Mm Sorry, I just wanted to see if you'd want to beat me to death. Um, thank you so much, Devana, for the 100 bits. I hope you're doing okay. Glad to see you're back. I'm doing okay-ish. I'm feeling a little bit sick. I, um, I got a, I got a little ulcer, but I'm feeling a lot better. I'm feeling a lot better, even though I'm not feeling amazing. <laughs> That's life sometimes, but this is a beautiful picture of I being dead, VT, and I really do appreciate it. I like that you got the skull popping out, too. You can't one guy the chat. It's it ends very poorly. No, I can. It's jif. It's jif peanut butter. Jif. Hmm. That is true. If you beat me to death, you lose your afterlife experience. Ah. Even in the ads, they pronounce it as gif, as in giffy. Absolutely, I agree with you. Mhm. Mm yes. Also, hello, hoodie. How are you? Well, you don't have to do that, but I hope you're doing very well, guys. That's hoodie. They're a pirate fella. If you would like to go and check them out, I'm sure that they would very much appreciate it. I hope you're having a good night. Um, you had too much hot sauce and got an ulcer? I had too much staying up thinking about the inevitability of, like, every bad thing in my life possibly happening in terms of, like, business stuff. Like, and having to fix it and feeling very stressed out and going, like, why didn't I just do this from the start? Like, I'm, I'm stupid. Like, why? What is wrong with me? I need to take charge of my life. Ah, uh, it's okay. You're a toy? What, what does that mean? What does that mean? Like from Toy Story? Like a little guy that hops around and goes and like fights people? That's... Or like for God? Like where he just like toys around with his creations and like murders us? It's a Toy Story reference. Oh, like what Woody said to Buzz? That's smart. Honestly, it might be better just to think of your life that way. Also, hi, Ecto, again. It's not your fault. Yeah, it'll, it'll get resolved. I'm just a little bit... I'd say if you ever want to do something, do a lot of research and do it yourself. And if someone says, I know how to do this, it's going to be awesome. I know how to do this. Um, they might. Or they might not, but you need to take responsibility for it and, you know, make sure that it's going to actually go in a good direction, otherwise you might end up stressed out later. You know, that's okay if it does. Just, yeah. Just be ready. This is actually a different type of fan art. Don't be a Jimmy- yeah, like if someone else creates a problem, it's your responsibility to fix it, which is not fun to think about. Like, no one wants to hear that, just like, oh my god, this huge problem, it's my responsibility to fix it now, but it is. It's always good to figure out, like, how you, um, how you feel about stuff and what you want to do. So, it's okay. It's a-okay. Don't worry about it. It's okay. This one is actually a very, very interesting 
type of fan art. This is a panel. This is a panel. There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay, here we go. There we go, there we go. Like, Gibby? I'm not like Jimmy! I'm s well, I hope I'm not, at least. I might be on some level. I think all of us want to, like, repress, like, any sort of, like, relation we have to, like, <laughs> that character. But, like, there's probably small parts of ourselves that are like that, that want to run from all responsibility. That would, like, have a mental flipping breakdown and try to, like, murder everyone if we, like, were in a situation where we were just gonna explode. But I don't... I think that most of us have this thing in our brain where we go, that's not a good idea. I would feel bad. And then, like, you don't do that? I don't think Jimmy had that. I think he had that thing where he was like, this is gonna pay off so nice, I'm gonna just go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. That Grammy picture would be like a JRPG port. Oh yeah, like a dialogue box. It looks very nice. But this is, um... This is actually like the little bar. Like the one that says Grimmy being held by like skeleton hands. Like they made it so like I can um... I can like put like any like thing I want. Like I can give you one of these. Like in stuff like that and then put it over it and then have that like be below like on the about section. Which is really nice because I've been trying to get like uh... I was working with this one person who did some beautiful art, but, like, um, just wasn't really finishing it. Like, for the, uh, for the about section. So this is, this is lovely. I'm very excited about this. I can't wait to go and put it up after this. But, um, please go check them out, and if you need ID panels and stuff like that, they're obviously a very, very, very solid choice. Very, very talented. It's a, j if Jif is Jif, then Grimmy is now officially <laughs> Jif? What does this mean? A practical application art is cool and good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. VTuber gaming cards? Oh, they have some, like, card games and stuff. Like, there's so many at this point. Like, I don't know which one to start on for, like, the independent, like, VTuber stuff. Like, it feels like there's so many options. And even with, like, the corporation ones, it feels like there's too many options. Like, I know there's Wesh Swartz, and there's, like, the official, like, stuff, and then there's, like... Ah, uh, gosh, there, there's quite a few of them now. Like, I get too confused and stuff. Uh, I hope Grimmy is well. I am well. I'm doing a little bit sick, but I'm I'm doing a lot better, honestly. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. Shy Lily's also coming out with one. Those are like the independent cards, too. And then there's also one that I think Phase Connect is involved in. And I think there's also... The, the only one that I really know that much of is like the Astraline ones. And those are like cool cards with like little like scenes on them and stuff. So, like, those are kind of interesting. You boot up a fighting game and you only see this as your character select. <laughs> you have to play as me. I'm not going to do well. You're going to die. But I quite like this. This was very nice of them and I thought this was very cool. So, thank you so much, Sony. Or Spooky Sony. Or Sunny? It might be Sunny. And then this one is very cute. I think you guys are going to like this one. I think you guys are going to like this one a lot. Let's see. Let's see. And this might... After this banner, I might have to, like, call it just because I don't feel good, and I don't know why, and I don't know how to get myself to start feeling better. I guess I just need to chill. But I want to do longer streams, so maybe we can do one more hour. One more hour after this. This one I think you're going to really enjoy, though. This one is by Innards, and this one is... I hope Ecto's still here. If she's not, it's okay. But, like, um... This one is by Innards. It's so cute! It's- it's reviving Ecto. It says Rat Girl Zombification. Oh, it's so nice! I think it's really fun. Ecto must have had a whoops daisy and needed to be revived, so I'm happy that you're alive again, Ecto. Congratulations on- It's really cute! Yeah! Welcome back to being dead alive. So that's how she got revived? I- I assume that, like, she fell over or, like, tried to eat all the slime with teeth in it or something. Um, and, uh, needed- someone to, um, make her alive again. So, um, I assume this wasn't, like, Ecto's original, like, you know, what's the word? Uh, re-living. But it's a very, very cute, um, well, dead alive. Re-reanimated. Yeah, I assume it's something like that. So there you go. Uh, re-dead. Yeah, re-dead! Also, um, I can- I can look at yours later, Fuzzy, since it's a GIF. I'm gonna get them downloaded from Twitter. Um, 
But yeah, I really love it. It's very cute. Thank you very, very, very much, innards. Also, such soothing background music. This is from Silent Hill, actually. This is from Silent Hill... Let me see here. Two. Restless dreams. Slash making peace. Slow and reverbed. I like these types of musics. They make you feel, like, very, like... I don't know, it's kind of like if you died right now, you'd be okay. You wouldn't be happy about it, but you'd be okay! <laughs> uh, also, thank you so much, Trakoma. Thank you so much for being here for 24 months. Do you think if Pyramid had lifted more, it would be called... Swollen... Hill? No? What? 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 Why? No? Also, I finally got my dreams jacket. Congratulations, Ecto! Yo! I've got a will. I'm good to die at any time. Oh. Oh, no. I guess that's fair, though. Oh, we should also well, probably make wills. I never really considered that. I just assumed that if I died, like, no one would really fight over anything I owned except my computer. <laughs> That sounds really bad, but I think people would just be like, there's a computer, there's a PlayStation 5. <laughs> like, let's go. Can I have your cat? No. No, I have to figure out who would take care of my cat. Whoever would take care of my cats, they would they would get to have my computer and my PlayStation 5. There we go. Like, I think that's the best idea. I'd fight over Grimmy's litter robot. Yeah, the litter robot's actually probably the most expensive thing I owned in my entire life. Well, that's fair. If you revive us, can we still cash out our life insurance? That's what you have to take care of. You have to take that up with the life insurance policies. I'm sure some animated and re-dead uh, clients are, are capable of claiming their policies, but I think it depends on the amount of time passed from their death and whether or not it can be claimed in that time. It might take some years. It might take some years. Um, also, thank you for the 100 bits, large winner. Could you keep Gaspar? I don't know where he would go. What would he do? What is he doing now? Does he even still live here? I'm not sure. It's interesting that upon death, the first issue is calculating your assets. Yeah, you think it would be something like more spiritual or like crazy, but instead it's just like, I wonder who will take my computer and PS5 and litter robot. Those I think are the things that I like have value with, like, huh. I guess you could also, like, sell off the person's organs. Oh, and microphones, you're right. Yeah, I do have some good microphones. Yes, that's very true. My will will just say, bury me with my PC. All the rest goes to my dog. That's very nice, yeah. Oh, my king-size bed, too. Yes, okay. There you go. I have some things of material value. Yeah, never mind. There you go. You set up your mom and brother as beneficiaries. Well, the thing is also, like, that's very nice, but, like, I feel like if I made, like, my family, like, my beneficiaries, what if they just decided to kill me one day? Like, what if they were just, like, Oh my god, this is so nice of you to, like, put us in your will, haha, <laughs> this is amazing, haha, <laughs> and then, like, they went and killed me so they could, like, get everything in it. I don't know, like, that seems like- what if they- like, what if, like, I struck it big and, like, won the lottery and, like, they were like, Ooh, she won the lottery, that's- that's crazy. I just have so many problems that would be solved if I were to win the lottery. So, you know, it's just- it's just crazy. Um... I don't know. I don't know. Uh, sorry, I, you guys should trust your families. I just think- I just think in crazy person's terms. Um, there you go. Oh, you got a haunted manor from your grandma! Whoa! Place is still mostly empty? Go enjoy it! Go enjoy it! Also, thank you so much, Blondie Sesh, for being here for nine months! Thank you! I appreciate it! And also, um... Thank you again, Trekoma, for being here for two years! My goodness, thank you! I really appreciate it! That's quite a bit of time, and I'm glad you've enjoyed yourself here. Thank you. This is a beautiful drawing. Yeah, this is from, uh... This is from Memore. Mem... Mor... Memorai. 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 And it looks absolutely beautiful. I love all the little ghosts in the background having a good time. It's very, very, very cute and very sweet. It looks like, um... It looks like they've done art of, like, a few different, like, characters from different, like, games and stuff, like... And a few different, like, little VTubers. Like, very nice. Their art is very pretty and beautiful. Thank you. I think they do an amazing job. 
Also, it looks like they're in Japan. Whoa. That's cool. Also, thank you, Pixel Metal, for being here for 23 months. I, um... I feel very sick. I have to go, I think. I don't know why, but I think just chilling for this long has made me already start to feel bad again. What do I do? Well, I now know that my limit is about two hours right now, so I'll stream for an hour and a half next time. But I do deeply apologize, you guys. I wish I could stay here and hang out for longer. You guys have a very nice night. Here, I will send you off with, um... Let's see, there's quite a few people playing some stuff. Would you guys like to see... Ooh, my goodness, okay. Oh my gosh, there's so many people streaming because it's so early. I'll try to be back tomorrow. I do want to continue streaming and not just, like, be a lump because I don't really have anything to do. Um, let's see. What about... What about... Voices of the Void. Would you guys be okay with Voices of the Void? Or would you guys rather see some Vampire the Masquerade? Which one would you guys prefer out of those? Vampire the Masquerade or Voices of the Void? It's a very short stream, I'm sorry. I'm ta I'm- I'm- I'm recovering from a little bit of illness. Um... Actually, here, I can do this. Uh, voices or vampire? We got one minute. Go, uh. Oh. We got one minute. Go. Or a few minutes, but I'm probably going to call it before this. So, um, and if it's, if it's equal, goodbye. No one gets a raid. Everyone gets to be sad. Everyone has to just enjoy themselves for the rest of the night with nothing. Or you can go and check out someone that you, you'd like to. So, um, make it exactly even. No, don't do that. No one likes when you do that. That's like what a child would do. It is what a child would do, and if you do it, no one gets to be happy. No one gets a raid. No one gets a raid if that's the case. Just letting you know. You have a few seconds to make this really annoying for everyone. It's up to you. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna rest either way, so no worries. Um... Hmm. Joke's on you, Grimmy. I've been here... <laughs> With six people's voices all evening? Wait, what does that mean? That sounds like a threat, and it's very scary, though. Also, thank you, Fat Sock, for being here for two months. Huh? Oh. Oh, you can- you can click it so it disables it. Like, I was- um, okay, sorry, you don't- you don't- um... But that's very nice of you, thank you. Uh, I meant to ignore it, but, um, if you would like some help with disabling it, all- all you have to do, uh... One is a collab of three- wait, what does it mean? Um, let's see. Also, 50-50, you're just denying some other creator a raid. Yeah, that's true, but, like, I think the thing is, it's it's a fun thing to do to just be a little monster. But also, <laughs> also, it'll just end. You have to have some repercussions for your actions, so if you decide to make it 50-50, go for it. But, but earnestly and honestly, you know, vote for what you want. I won't be upset. Thank you guys for being here for this very short stream. I'm gonna try to be here for longer on Wednesday if I'm feeling better. And then Thursday if I'm feeling better, and then Friday if I'm feeling better, and consistently, and so on and so forth. I think Friday I have a, a small announcement. It'll be great. Um, it'll be lovely. Um, rest up, Grimmy. You guys rest up too. What did we get? We got Voices of the Void. So we are gonna be raiding... We're gonna be raiding Juniper. This is the first time I've raided her. She's a fun moth lady. Um, I think you guys will like her. She plays a lot of horror games. If you're unfamiliar with her. I think most of you guys are familiar with her, though. So, um, please be kind to her. Please have a good night with her. I am going to immediately go and like pop off and just like... <laughs> I'm going to go and like almost lay down but not fully because I will die. So um, thank you very much for being here for this very short stream. You, uh, It means a lot to me and I will be back soon with actual video games that we enjoy. So <laughs> thank you so much for putting up with this for this time being. Um, Thank you all so much for telling me that you got your skelters and your hot sauces, those that did. Thank you so much for coming by, those that did. Thank you so much for just doing your thing. Please make sure that you are taking care of yourself and drinking water and eating food. And next time I'm here, I'll be more cognitive, probably. So that'll be lovely. But thank you also so much for all the beautiful art. And please go have a good time with Juniper. Okay. I'm sure she will very much appreciate it. I will probably not be in chat because I'm immediately going to just go lay down. Goodbye, everyone. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. I don't feel good. Sorry. Sorry.